Welcome everyone to the fourth episode of VTubers in the Shadows, our Warhammer Fantasy campaign. And as always, I am Ludessa. I am your GM today. And I am a variety streamer here at Twitch, playing all sorts of games, including a lot of RPGs and just about anything that tickles my fancy. And I, of course, as always, am joined by some very wonderful people. Starting with Urkel. Uh, hi, uh, again. Uh, my name is Urkel. Uh, and I am so tired that I went to Wendy's, paid for my food, got my drink, and drove away before they gave me the bag of food today. <laughs> on top of that, I also stream uh, on Twitch. At my <laughs> that, is, that is a mood Urkel. today. That is honestly a mood today. Uh, yeah. Uh, I stream over there with my wife. We play cozy games. We do cozy things. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, and I'm playing uh, Anthony, the uh, the thug, I guess, racketeer, uh, shotgun wielding punchy boy. Oh, thank you, Grena. Yeah, hello. I'm Grena, and I'm just a fruit bat, and sometimes I stream. Um, I'm playing Kyrus Hess, who is a beggar, who is really bad with daggers, and I will never get good with them. Never, not even once? Not even once. I think I've hit a total of twice out of maybe 10 times. Maybe 10, maybe it was 12. I think, you know, I think you've had a better luck fighting with your cloak, haven't you? Yes. I swaddled a man. <laughs> Who can forget that? Who can forget that? Oh, yeah. And we actually have someone new joining us today. Meltzer, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, hi, I'm uh, Meltza, also known as Lady Meltza. Uh, I'm a variety streamer on Twitch, and hopefully in the future I'll also be a VTuber. I am playing the character known as Fried Brot, um, and I'm a brigand who is trying to make a criminal enterprise in the long run. Thank you, and thank you for joining us. So, yes, you may notice we're missing some people today. Uh, Vix, our lovely Vixen, is under the weather. So, she is in chat, but she is not going to be joining us today. And Zemo, burnt, as you may know, will unfortunately be missing at least a couple of streams. Hopefully, burnt will return. I'm sure the party hopes burnt will return because burnt has some of their money. <laughs> That I, I imagine they want back. Also, Burn might just have to be the key to that 20,000 gold crowns of uh, inheritance. Uh, a little bit. So you really need Burn back for that. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, oh no, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, Burn, Burn has your money, but you need <laughs> Burns. But what happened last time? Because things turned into like a little bit of a shit show, didn't they? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would call that, I would call that a bit more than a little bit of a shit show, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, okay, last time, you finally arrived in Altdorf. There was a long journey, but you arrived, you even got to see the Emperor. Like, how exciting was that? I don't think, I don't think Kirst noticed, I think Kirst was too busy begging on the streets, but... Mm -hmm. There was the Emperor. I don't know, he was pretty cool. He had shiny armor. Anyway. Made a lot cool. of pennies. You did make a lot of pennies. That's true. I think you made more pennies that day than you ever had. You even started with like when you think you ever have. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and after that. that, you had a mysterious man who uh, you had to try and follow. There were some dead bodies involved and a weird purple hand tattoo on those dead bodies. Uh, Kiss, you ended up with purple eyes. I did. You know, I think it's just symbolic of me recognizing their deep friendship and their friendship tattoos. And then I earned purple eyes because I realized how good of friends those two were. You know? <laughs> it, it definitely wasn't a dark deal or anything that I fucked nah. up on. No, no. No. The no real reward was the friends you made along the way, wasn't it? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and this very same person made appearance later on and 
Mm-hmm. Kiss and Izzy decided they were to follow this man. You even cornered him, which was quite shocking. You cornered him. There was a bit of a scuffle that turned into a very large brawl. And that's where we got, that's basically where we left off. There were a few dead bodies. Izzy and mm-hmm. Burnt fled. Not Burnt. Uh, Izzy and Anthony the fled. Burnt and Kier stayed behind to until the City Watch showed up. So, Kiss, after being picked up by the guards, you are taken to what is essentially a like a local jailhouse. You know, this isn't like the proper jail. This is just like a a little watch house with a few cells under it. A large, rather we'll call him unkempt man, the jailer escorts you into your cell where he tells you okay sir you are about to be incarcerated in this here jailhouse you will stay here until your court appointed time and you will behave yourself and you basically get left alone in that cell for about, about an hour. We'll say about an hour before mm. that same jailer returns, accompanied by someone else, someone you don't know. A fellow redhead in, let me get this right, fried or is it freed? It's uh, fried. Fried? Fried is shoved into the same cell as you, Kiers. And the jailer, once again, goes with, Okay, sir, you are being incarcerated in this here jailhouse until your court appointed time. Please do behave yourself. And the large, we'll say, the large, the large unkempt, smelly man. Leaves the two, of course, like he's... <laughs> So you can tell the guys, but from the look of it, he's not showered in. I mean, you probably question whether he knows what a shower is. Oh, okay. But but on the bright side, you're not sure whether the smell is him or just the jail cell, because it is a dank, a dank, musty jail cell that you are in. In fact, I did. Let's uh, let's bring something up real quick here. If I can find it. There we go, there we go. Let's... Oh, God. I swear I know what I'm doing. I swear I know what I'm doing. (laughs) I believe. Kiss and Fried. Thrown together in the same cell. Fried, you... I think you already know why you're here. You... Well, you were caught up in a little bit of a brawl that happened. Somebody... uh, Somebody died. It doesn't mean that you, you know, you were involved in their death. It just means you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And now here you are in this cold, musty, dank, dark cell with kiss. Hey there, how's it going? My name is Fried. Uh... Uh, first of all, did they let me keep my blanket? <laughs> blanket, yeah. They let you keep oh, your clothes. Sweet. They weren't sweet. They, okay. They weren't that throw. Like they took your weapons. Anything my else? Singular weapon. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> honestly, they didn't really care about. Sweet. <gasps> I got my cup then. Yes. Possibly. You, yes. <laughs> yes. You still. You still have your money. You still <laughs> have your cup. Oh, I love it here. Okay. Um. So, I. Before Fried was also thrown in, I probably just tried to make myself comfortable. It's probably disgusting in the cell. and Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm wrapped in my blanket, but I'm also like, huh. It would have been nice if uh, I also hadn't just, like, used this as a weapon to smother a man. Um, but Kears just kind of nods politely at Fried. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know. You got the same hair color. What's up? Like, but no, um... They'll stare you down, but like anxiously and just say, 
Cheers. Uh, I'll. Huh. Can <laughs> think right now. Um. I'll just, uh, uh, I guess you're not the talkative type, huh? Uh, I'll just leave you alone then. Try and try to figure out how to escape from here. <laughs> you want to figure out, you want to try to escape from the jailhouse? I mean, you can. Well, no, I said that, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, you said that out loud? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Kiris I mean, just like goes from like I'm staring at like I the oh I don't know you you're in my my uh vicinity but then it's total full blown confusion that you would just admit that <laughs> like oh I mean it, it's not like I've been thrown in here before <laughs> thankfully before that happens you do hear the sound of. The big heavy wooden door being closed at the jailer steps, sir. Uh, just out into like the little guard room. Okay, he's in a separate room, and the cells are just in a hall. Yep, it's a small hall. It's a small jail cell. Okay. Okay. Burnt and the man you were smothering, they're not here though. It's just you, and obviously your new friend. Well, I've never been here before either. I've actually, if, in, if it's surprising to look at me, I've never been in jail at all. And this is my first time in a city and in a city jail cell. So it's not quite comfortable. And no, I'm not particularly talkative because I'm not sure what they mean by appointed court day. Well, the appointed court day just means that uh, you'll be in here until you go to court. I, I don't think where I'm from was big enough to hold court. If people were in trouble, they just kind of were put in the stocks. Well, here in the city, it's a bit different. You get, uh, you get, uh, you're in jail for a while until you're in court. Uh, if it's small crime, j the judge will deal with it, uh, and then send off to a much bigger jail. I I don't even feel like what happened warranted me being arrested. I guess okay that there was some fighting and I stabbed a man in the back of his calf, but he started it. And I point at like the deep gouge in my cheek where the crossbow bolt like took a lot of flesh with it. <laughs> yes, it did cut deep. Well, I, just wanted uh, answers. I was I was just eating bread in the window frame at the time. I don't mind for like brawls. They're fun to watch. You know, me being what I look like and everything, they'll take anyone that seems like a suspect. Wait, so you didn't even do anything and they locked you up. That just, that doesn't... So we are both in here and it wasn't... Ugh. What is the system? Cities suck. Just the whole judicial system sucks. Kyrus is gonna like shuffle over to like look out the bars at the hallway. It's like, Kyrus doesn't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> What you see outside of the hallway is a whole lot of, well, nothing. There's a whole lot of just very drab gray stone. Mm. More put more puddles. Okay, you know what the bright side outside the cell is? The puddles outside the cell are at least like dirty watercolor versus inside mm. the cell where it's more of like a yellow color puddles. Oh, oh, yeah. So I'd rather be near those puddles, but um. I, I can't because there's a wall of bars in the way, so that's great. I love that. <laughs> best. You know what a guard's uh, best friend is? It's money. I... 
You know, money is a good thing. I can agree with you on that. Uh, never had much of it myself. Sometimes and I like... guards will just, you know, free you if you give them a good uh, and cha- amount of change. Wait, how much? And then, like, I bring out my cup and I start counting my pennies in the cup. <laughs> they didn't take this from me. And is the money, like, is the money on, all still in the, the cup? I don't know. Is all, my money all still in the cup? I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's your I money in your cup. I, I mean, it was in the bindle, but I'm assuming they at least took the bindle. But I feel like I wouldn't have left my cup. I think I'm missing some money out of my cup. I don't know if I dropped wow. it or if they took it. How dare they? Robbing the poor. I know, right? Kicking me when I'm already down. I know. Well, while the two of you have the chance to kind of make each other's acquaintance in jail and possibly discuss any potential escape plans, Urkel, Urkel, let's just uh, zoom out to the side a bit. Yes. After all this happened, after all this happened, what did you do? So you have basically had Izzy with you. Izzy, at this point, probably too injured to do, do much of anything else. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess the goal would be to try to essentially, you know, fucking throw one of Izzy's arms over my shoulders and just try to find somewhere to, like, get somewhere to sleep tonight. Well, uh, just um, and rest up. You do know. I mean, you do know about Joseph. You did meet Joseph, and he did tell you he has a ship at the docks. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I would love a place that I don't have to pay for. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just try to hobble our way to the docks. Well, I mean, you, you were already pretty close. Like, the fight oh, happened yeah. not far from the docks. You were you were by the docks when you, you kind of, like, uh, when the man... I don't want to say he attacked you. He attacked the people who were following you. Yeah. But with a little um, bit of luck. Oh. I was just going to ask, do you want, like, RP between Anthony and... and uh, uh, oh, God. Let's fix this character in his name again. Is he? Who am I with? Oh, yeah. Okay. Izzy. Or do you just want me to say, like, what I'm trying to do so that you don't have to, like, play Izzy? Um, yeah. Let's let's just assume Izzy's, like, out of it at the moment. So... Cool, 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 cool. I, w- I don't want to play Vix's character for her. This is her character. Understandable. Cool. Then, yeah. Let's hobble ourselves down to the docks. It takes a little while, but after looking through a few ships, you do find Joseph there waiting he sees you he just sees uh you with izzy he recognizes you at least but he looks a little uh a little confused and a little uh worried <clears throat> my boy my boy okay my boy my boy what the hell what the hell happened to you is she okay is she dead no no, no she's she's alive she's alive we're um uh, it's a lot could we could uh, permission to come aboard? I'm still drunk, aren't I? Yeah, I would still be drunk right now. Uh, um, per- sh- at this point, you may have like after like you know all the excitement. We can say you saved up a little bit. Sweet, sweet. I won't, or I won't have to be drunk. Um, is permission to come aboard? I guess that's what people say to ship captains. Oh, oh yeah, ex- absolutely. Come on, you hurry up on here, lad. Come on, get him up here. And he, he, he'll, he'll actually he'll come down and he will help you to carry Izzy into the ship. The ship itself, it is a large, sturdy Rivergone vessel. As you can see, it looks a little rough. It's um, a little cobbled together and uh, patched up. But it, it looks seaworthy enough. I'm, su- I'm sure you, you don't have a lot of experience with boats. and It's well-loved, yes. It's a well-loved boat. Right now, the the deck is filled with a broom of like crates that are being shipped. That obviously your that's supposed to be your job, shipping these crates. Right. 
Uh, as soon as Joseph kind of comes down to help with uh, Izzy, uh, as soon as that weight is slightly lifted off of him, he's just going to kind of almost slump over because he also all only has three wounds remaining. Uh, so he's not doing well. Um, uh, I guess once we get on the ship, uh, a lot happened. We got attacked. Some hooded figure... Uh, a, a, there's a group of people following us. Some hooded figures started killing them. Uh, Izzy here uh, and Kierce went after the 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 hooded figure. We ran into some bandits. We took care of them, but everybody else got picked up by by the guards. It's just the two of us that made it out. Uh, that child was all, always trouble. You're gonna give me a heart attack one of these days. Yeah, yeah, sure, that, that checks out. I mean, they seem fine, but I, I don't know why they're giving you a heart attack. Anyway, I need to lay down. Uh, that's what happened. They're probably somewhere in, like, a jail somewhere, but I am in so much pain and so hungover, and I really need to sleep. Listen, lad, listen, lad. Let's get you down, let's get you down to the deck. We'll lay you down. I I may know someone. I may know someone, a doctor. Well, we'll say we'll say doctor. Oh, good, good. More close to doctors, my <laughs> favorite. Okay. But yeah, two of you, the two of you, just rest, kiss. You know what? It would it'll do them good to, to spend a night in jail. Think about getting this kind of trouble. It's where I went, met most of my friends in my old town, so, you know. It's not that bad. You just gotta be social. So just... he well, he will help you below deck. He'll help you below deck. We'll take you and oh. we'll drag you right down here into into a bed. Oh, the homie. Bed. Yes. <laughs> not the softest of beds, but it's a bed. And I imagine at this point for you, it's a bed's a bed. It's a bed. Yeah. I don't think we've slept in beds yet. <laughs> Not, not 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 the whole trip to Altdorf, no. Yeah, uh, no, that's, not, that's not true. That's not true. The second coaching house, a certain Philippe. Oh right, did oh, pay for a bed. Right. The, yeah, he he bought yeah. a room that one time. Yeah, Izzy's man pet bought us. Yeah, uh, yes. bought us. Yeah, a, a yeah. Room. So Joseph, he does leave for, for a little while. He comes back maybe like half an hour later, followed by. Is that going to be... There we go. Let's see if I can get, like, a nice image up. Ooh, a little dapper gentleman. All right. I know. I, I was have... like, Joseph's got a boat butler, but no, this is the doctor. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> boat, boat, butler. boat butler. Can we bring him up? Will he, will he appear on screen? <laughs> Hello, there I'm we the go. butler. <laughs> Um, you know what I should probably do? Man, those pants! Those yeah, pants are snazzy. One quick moment. Let's, uh... Let's change up the sounds. I, I don't think the creepy dungeon sounds quite fit where we are now. <laughs> yeah. I'm still kind of learning the... Sirens, uh, Sirenscape, I would say it wrong. Understandable. What are words? Exactly. There we go. Okay. We should all be good now. Sick. All right, Joseph. Is, are these them? This, as you can see, this very... This elderly, elderly gentleman, where he is wearing an apron that looks, a, should we say, a little blood stain. Like, the blood isn't necessarily fresh, but the blood stains are there. He's led into the cabin by Joseph, and he sets down a bag on the table. He opens up the bag and he takes out a few items, among them a pair. There's, there's some scissors, some combs, the like. They start bring out some like scalpels, and uh... you can probably guess this is one of the famed barber surgeons. Barber by day, surgeon by whenever. <laughs> uh -uh. They, they can 
they can cut out your liver and then give you a haircut at the same time. <laughs> You're so skilled. Maybe, maybe compartmentalize those appointments, but all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're we're the two very, very hurt people on the boat. Yes, that's us. Thank you. Hello. Well, it's it's not my business what trouble you've been into, but uh, I mean, your friend here has he's paid for my services, so let's get this over with. And he he takes out a bottle of whiskey and a few uh, a few tumblers. And he fills those tumblers, not a little bit. He fills them to the brim. He gives, he gives one to you, Anthony. He helps. Uh, he gives one to Joseph to give to Izzy, and then of course he has one for himself that he downs before he gets to work with. Fuck. <laughs> As he walks over with the glass of whiskey. Uh, uh, Anthony's just got. Very weakly, he's got like the baby grabby hands, just like both <laughs> hands out, reaching for the glass of whiskey. Like, please, <laughs> man knows his medicine, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, is when you get the shit kicked out of you, usually booze is the way to numb that pain. Thanks. Well, 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 well. Let's take a look here. You're both like, oh, that is, he, he, he looks at Izzy. That is a nasty, nasty cut on her arm. Can I see, is that bone I see? Well, you know what? I think I can work with this. I think I can work with this. It won't be pretty. It won't be pretty. There's going to be a scar, but you know what? We can get this all stitched up. As for you, big man, and he, he goes to you, uh, he goes to you, Anthony. Uh, I, I don't know what you're about, you big baby. A few cuts here and there, some bruising. Big man like you, I thought you'd be, uh, I thought you'd be tougher than this. Mm, if I was a little more healthy or had two more of these, I would make you eat those words. But thank you for telling me I am all right. <laughs> well, just remind me then. I want to give you one more. Uh, yeah, we'll see where the night takes us. <laughs> he just kind of gingerly sips the whiskey, just laying sideways in bed. Well, let's have let's see how well his healing goes for you, Anthony. He's gonna finally you can have someone help do we know heal you. Yeah, I doubt it. I I'm I'm foreseeing ninety nine getting rolled by this dude's medicine check right now. With how lucky I've been with open parentheses doctor closed parentheses. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> well, let's find out. Is he a real doctor or is he just a a wannabe. Well, well, oh, well, well. Ooh. It turns out this doctor knows a thing or two. So how much do you heal from this? Let's see how much you heal from this. You heal. You heal four wounds from this. Cool. Okay, okay. He takes out some bandages. He gets you all. He gets you wrapped up in a few places. The whiskey certainly doesn't hurt. Like. It, you can definitely feel that going down. It may not be expensive, but it is strong as fuck. Yeah. Oh, that's the good stuff. As for, as for Izzy, as for Izzy, we will... Uh, we're not going to roll for Izzy. We'll deal with that when the time comes. Because obviously Izzy is going to be uh, in, the bed for, in bed for a while. But after he's done with you, he goes ahead and packs up his tools and he looks at Joseph and, he's, uh, and he just says, uh, All right, you're all paid up. Uh, just keep an eye on the woman. If the wound starts to smell a little bit, well, I mean, if, wherever you are, give the doctor a call. If it starts to smell, the arm it may just have to come off. But, you know, I've done the best I can. The big guy. Apart from some blubbering, he'll be fine. 
And with that, he takes his leave. Uh, remind me the, the ship captain's name again. I'm sorry. Joseph. Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. I, we are grateful. Kind of like waves a, a weak arm at Izzy. Uh, look. I don't think that fight's gonna look real great to the guards. Uh, what do we gotta do to to help the two that got caught? They had the warrior priest of Sigmar thought that because he was a fancy little god cop that he wasn't gonna get picked up by the guards, and I'm pretty sure Kierce just hated the guy enough that. They wanted to make sure that he got caught, so uh, it's not going to look good in my thoughts. I have experience with this stuff, so is there some palms we can grease? Is there a bail we can pay? Is there something we could do here? Well, <clears throat> well, laddie, here's what we're going to do. Oh, we're going to sleep. We're going to sleep it off the night. You're going to uh, take it easy. We'll, uh, we'll find them in the morning. I'm sure we can find out wherever they got taken. Somewhere nearby. I know some people. I, st I still know some people here in Altdorf. As for, as for, you know, greasing a few palms. Well, do you remember how we uh, agreed on two silver a day? I had a feeling that that doctor's bill was not going to come cheap and neither will making sure that they do not get put in the stockades. Smart lad, smart lad, hi. We're making it one silver a day now and a lot of you, a lot of you, you're going to work your asses off. You are going to work harder than you've ever worked before. He just kind of like closes his eyes. Is there uh? Is there a chance that we could maybe just dock the pay of the people dumb enough to stay behind to get caught by the guards? Maybe. Uh. They are the uh, ones. Do Someone's gonna pay that doctor, you know. Somebody's gotta do. Yeah, uh, could have just. Listen, laddie, and he kind of he kind of walks by you and gives you a little a a, a hard slap on the shoulder. Probably a bit too rough for your <laughs> current state. Listen, listen, laddie, don't worry about it. You are asleep. We'll do it tomorrow. Kiss wouldn't it wouldn't do them any harm for a night in jail, would it? Maybe, maybe they can learn something. Yep, learn to run next time. All right, I'll sleep it off. Have a good night, Joseph. Thank you again. You too. You too. You too. Have sweet dreams. And he will, he will leave you in the two of you in there to rest. Why don't you go ahead and give me an agility test as well? Just to see how, if you recover much during the night. It is going um, to be a average I just test. finished upgrading this. Please. Yes. <laughs> so you, yep, you rolled plus three success levels, which means you heal. Plus, you feel your three success levels plus your toughness bonus. Uh, what is your toughness bonus? And if you've forgotten, it's just the tens number of your toughness. Oh, okay. Uh, three, so I get another six. There you go. You heal six more plus wounds. Are you fully healed yet? Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, someone is actually fully healed. I am amazed. So, yeah, you wake up in the morning feeling actually pretty damn good. Ooh. Like the hangover is gone. Well, maybe a little tender still, but overall, yeah, the wound have healed up nicely. Izzy is probably still, like, groaning in pain in the bed next to you, but to you at least, yeah, you're good. Whew. Man, there's something good in that whiskey. All right. Ugh. Time to break our friends out of jail. Sick. So then, yeah. So Joseph will... He will, if you'll go with him, he will take you around town, talk to a few people, and they will find out exactly where we'll head back, where Granite is being held. And our new buddy. 
<laughs> Grenna and Fried, you're basically left there overnight in the cell. It is not particularly pleasant. You don't really have... You have beds, but like... It's more like a... like. A pl like a pl slab of wood with some hay on it and not even like a lot of hay. <laughs> anyway, morning comes. There's a light shining through one of the wind the barred windows at the top of the cell. And uh one quick moment here. Let me go let me go back for better music again. Yeah, I would hope something's not flowing in the jail. To be fair, there could, there could actually be a sewer system underneath it, because a lot of... Uh, that that is fair, I just don't want to think about it. <laughs> Spooby music. Spooby. I'm, I'm just fixing things. There we go. There we go. You can hear... You can hear some, vo some voices on the other side of the door. You can hear somebody talking with the, with the guards outside. The voice is familiar because it is the voice of Joseph, who, <gasps> Kiers, you are very familiar with. You can't make out too much. It's very muffled, but there's something about uh, some money, and you hear someone say, you hear a voice say, uh, which one is it? Oh, 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 um, the, red, the redhead, the redhead. <laughs> That the door opens up another creak and out comes your big friend, the guy, the man that smells of, uh, well, we won't talk about what he smells like because he does not smell pleasant. Mm -hmm. He's accompanied. He's got his own bouquet. Yes. He is accompanied by Joseph. They walk into the cell. He opens up the cell, he opens up the cell door and he looks inside and then there's like a moment where he just sort of he sort of stood there looking between the two of you. And it's almost as though you can hear the gears in his head grinding to a halt. Because he was given very simple instructions. You heard him, him being told, it's the redhead. Mm -hmm. And he looks and he sees two redheads. And then after like an uncomfortable, mo like a comfortably long time of him just staring at the both, he finally says, Okay, sirs, you have both been, your probation has been uh, paid off. You are both free to go about your business. Kyrus is just going to stand up because they were probably still sitting on that god-awful makeshift bed. Um, and uh, stand up. Make eye contact with Joseph, but not say anything and gesture for Fried to be like, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. But like, not say anything, just like hand gesture of like, okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I'll also stand up and walk out with a uh, um, new friend. Uh, totally didn't okay. forget their name. <laughs> <laughs> we were both unjustly imprisoned, okay? We, we were, yeah. we're walking out of here. It's not okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna just uh, I'm 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 just gonna pat on like pat the guard's shoulder. It's like nice seeing it again. Your hand comes off. Shall we say? Oh no! Oh, no. It feels oddly sweaty and greasy. Mm. And it's man, it's marinating. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll, just, kind of... I'll just wipe it. I'll wipe it down off of my clothes. Just like, ugh. Of course, I forgot you're the sweaty one. <laughs> well, let's just say your clothes <laughs> will not be smelling the best for the next little while. But anyway, and they they've smelled they've smelled better. <laughs> well, they smell worse for sure. <laughs> He let yep, he lets you out he lets you out. He closed the door behind you. He's just been so much else now. He's done what he needs to do. You found he's not much of a talker. He's very much down to business and honestly, you, you probably don't it probably seems like he has a lot of what he says just memorized. He's going <laughs> through the motions. 
You know, he's decent at his job, technically. No one has to know that he let out two people at once. It's fine. To be fair, the guards do get terrible pay. Joseph! Oh, oh yeah, what's Joseph gonna do? <laughs> Joseph's there with you. Has two <laughs> he, well, Joseph, like, first, curse, he's looking at you. He, he mm -hmm. has a little look of, like, a stern grandfather who's somewhat disappointed, mm -hmm. shaking mm -hmm. his head. Curse, curse, curse. One know, day, I one know. day in this city. What the hell are you getting yourself into? You know, to be fair, Joseph, it was actually quite the haul yesterday, and it ended in disaster purely because of the tallest one, you know, with the hammer and everything. I just, I wanted to do something good, and I was obviously misguided. Uh, well, I hope you see now what doing good here can, can get you. It's definitely different in the city. Oh, hi, hi, city. The city is... It's a different place. It is rough. This is, this is why I prefer being on the open seas. And you know what? There are much, much nicer places. Altdorf. You know what? You know what it is? You know what it is? It's those damn majors at the college. I, I hear all kinds of things. I hear... Well, I don't want to see too much, but I hear... They raise the dead up in that college. All kinds of unnatural things. I've even heard they make people. They make people out of the bodies of other people. They get the corpses and they stitch monsters. You know what? No, what? No, no, no. Not even, we're not even going to talk about it. Uh, he, yes. How about we have that talk on the ship? I, I am grateful, Joseph, but... Also, we have a plus one. And I gesture towards Fried. He, kinda, he looks at Fried and he, he raises the braces. I, 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 uh. Well, I, I didn't quite pay for that, but uh, t two for one deal. I, she didn't belong in there anyway. Uh, wasn't, uh, neither of us really were at fault, okay? It... I hate the city. I'm I'm ready to go get on the water. I was just eating some bread, so I I don't I, I they don't really care for me at all. Well, okay. Look, look. I did ask about your your other friend. You know the the big man who seems to be the well, let's say the troublemaker of the of the group. It seems here. It seems he's. A little more wanted than you. Have well, you. From he what kind it, from of had the uh, the man that I prevented from running, and the whole reason I was locked up, Joseph. Like I said, I'm sorry. I tried to do something good. That man was killing people who were trying to get in contact with our friend. So yes, you could say he's the the troublemaker. I was just trying to solve it, okay? All I know is some one person was screaming about Sigma, and then the other person was screaming about Sigma, and then there. I mean, do they take crimes involving religion more seriously? I I didn't ask too much. I asked about mm. him. They told me he's he took that they took the other two somewhere else and I, I grease a few palms, and I got you out. That's what matters. Kiss. You're safe, and the other two, they're safe. One of them is on the ship. Re yeah, she's what? resting. She's she's alive. Oh, good. I wasn't actually sure. I I knew they left, but I wasn't sure what actually happened to them after. Oh, the, mean, other one, the other one's with me. He's out, He's just outside right now. Oh, all right. Well, if you don't think that we can go rest burnt from the law, I mean, Fried can probably... I mean, 
Only if you want. Fried, we were actually about to go do a labor job. I don't know if that's your thing. To be honest, a job, a job, a job, a job is a job. Well, Joseph, we're down and burned. Oh, I know. Uh, seems to me that uh, this one owes me. Oh, I mean, I didn't quite plan to uh, buy out two of you, but well, here you are. So, so it's a set of hands. So it's a deal. One silver well, day. Well, to be fair, Joseph, um, you did you did get two for the price of one. So, All right, so that is, so that so, so, that, so that means so that means you both owe me half. There. So here's the here's deal. You can come work on my ship. We're taking some wine, some silks down to Bogenhofen, just in time for Schaffenfest. It's going to be a great haul, but anyway. One silver day, that goes for you too, Kiz. Don't think I'm, I'm letting you get off easy. Wouldn't dream of it. And you are going to sweat. I am going to work you to the bone until you get through your a thick skull of yours. Not to get any more trouble. Yes, sir. Oh, I her. He looks the looks the fried. And what am I calling you? Name is Fried Brat. First name spelled like Freed, but parents always call me Fried. You were the least favorite child, weren't you? I was actually a single child. Oh, it's not a no. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't want anyone. <laughs> well, now that Joseph has you out, he will lead you both out. And if you want to go and uh, purchase a few things, although I know you can't really afford anything, so <laughs> neither I can do. I. So <laughs> great. So. At best, you get to do a little bit of window shopping along the way. Maybe, 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 um, maybe Oko wants to visit that, uh, oh, sorry, maybe Anthony wants to visit that tavern. What was it, the, uh, oh, I should write this down, the cock and something. No, oh, the cock and pheasant. <laughs> the cock and pheasant, that's it. Maybe Oko wants, maybe Anthony wants to have a little, uh, stop by there. <laughs> See some of the dandies. Uh, no, no, okay. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? We'll see where the day takes us. It'd be on the list of what to do next time you come to Altdorf. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Well then, if you have no other business here, then Joseph will bring you all back to his ship. The Bever Belly. And we're back here and let me just... This is going to be a, a a bit of a weird question. I haven't really dug through all of the the items that could be bought, especially the new stuff. Mm -hmm. Does this game have, like, healing potions? <laughs> it does have poultices, but they're not like D&D &D where, you know, they'll heal a ton of wounds. Okay. Uh, eh. I'll just... I'll, I'll save my money, I feel... I feel pretty confident currently. Of course, we're just going to be lifting boxes. I'm sure enough, nothing will bad bad will happen after that doomsayer was like, "Hey, everything's going to die that goes on the river." Uh, <laughs> that's probably fine. Of course, like, do you have a Bogenhaven? Like, who would even? What nonsense? Yeah, <laughs> nonsense. Oh, were our weapons returned upon our release? Yes. Also, okay. um, Kiss, why don't you give me an average endurance roll to see if you heal up at all in jail? Great. Endurance? I think this will be your first time healing, so roll good. Hey. You rolled plus one success. One. So, <laughs> so once again, it is that plus one plus your toughest bonus. Toughest okay, bonus three, being... Plus one. So you heal four wounds. You healed Yay. something. If you hadn't got caught, you could have been here with the doctor to help you, but you got caught and... <laughs> you suffered for it. Consequences. I love them. And you know what I want you guys to do? 
I want the three of you to give me give me an av- give me another average insurance test. Because the second you walk on the boat, Joseph starts giving you orders. All right, all right. That box, pick that box up, move it over there. Get those ropes, untie them. All right, up there. Get the get the sail going. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. And, oh, so... Freed, Fried. If you need any help, let me know, because obviously this is your first time. So, just go into your character sheet, which I think we talked about how to open that up. And what you're going to do is you are going to go to the skills tab. And then under basics... I just realized what's needed. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, don't wait, we've uh, opened that. Difficulty is average, right? Yes, so... I think we've been over how to do that with the drop down and you just change the drop down to yeah. average. Perfect, there we go. Okay, Ooh. so... The three of you... You are hauling ass under the slave driving ways of Joseph. You work up a sweat, but... You know what? Maybe it feels good to be like out there, moving about, doing something. After night in jail and... Anthony, you know what? You sobered up. You get to enjoy the salty, fresh air. The the air of... The, the smell of... Fish, both fresh and modern. All the wonderful smells of the docks. And why don't we actually go back to some... Again, some more fitting music than... Spooky jail music. <laughs> <laughs> So then, after everything is set up, after Joseph has got you all loaded his cargo, so much wine, so many silks, you're ready to depart. He helps to guide the Barabelle. This very, this is a large barge. It is quite a wide one, and he takes it out into the wide River Reich. And let's actually let's move around some more. Let's. Let's bring you all back. Oh, did you not come with me? Okay, let's actually make sure you come with me. Yay! <laughs> Zoom in. So he takes you out into the River Reich. Ooh. Among all the flats, the little islands. But it is a very, very large river. And as you sail down, he starts pointing out some sights. He starts negotiating to various ships. You see those? Those are the imper- those are the imperial warships, and that one he points to the biggest one out there. That right there, that right there, that is the that's the Emperor Wilhelm the Third, biggest ship in the fleet. But here's something interesting about it: that ship is never seen in the open ocean. Seems like a bit of a waste, yeah. Well, to be fair, it is the ship of the of the uh, Emperor. I highly doubt they ever want it actually in the open ocean. Well, the problem is, Caraberg. The tax, oh my God, the taxes you, you pay to sail ships through there, it is downright criminal. Which is why we won't be sailing, sailing past Caraberg. We will be taking the Weisbrook Canal. Much. Uh, much fairer prices there to go through there. And he guides... Right. He guides the ship. But let's just see how well he guides the ship. How well does Joseph... Uh, <laughs> how good of his pilot skills? We would hope he's pretty decent, but... Uh... Is he having a good day or an off day? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm great at driving. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony can drive anything. <laughs> hey, if you can drive a car, you can drive a boat. You know? oh God. To be fair, it's sailing a boat. But... Well, okay, so Joseph here rolled plus seven. So, oh, like, oh my God! Turns out the man moment. who spends the man who like spent his whole life sailing ships is pretty damn good at sailing ships. Thank goodness. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> I would hope. So the journey takes you out onto the River Reich, and eventually the ship turns down into what is known as the Weisbrook Canal. 
at the at the one end, the end you enter in, there is actually a lock, and Joseph has to pay to use the lock. And you see there's a little change of money before the lock opens up, and you sail down into the canal. The canal itself, well, decently wide, this barge that Joseph is, that has, it it is big enough where, like, other ships are going to surely get by it at some, other, at some points along the canal. Much the annoyance of, like, a lot of other ships along the way. There's a, there's a few ships who try to get by and they have to, like, pull to the side into, like, these little uh, spots where, like, it was kind of cut out for them. You just hear the people yelling, Get your fat barge off the vice book. You're too big. Go home. <laughs> Joseph, though, at the hell, at the you know the back of the ship at the wheel, he doesn't seem to care. He just uh, takes. He just he smiles to them. He waves. They get, he's got a big swig from a wine jug he's carrying, and he offers them the blessings of Bogan now. And what about the rest of you? What are you? How how are you taking this? This little journey down the canal. Uh, I guess I'll, I'm just like after all the hard work and everything, I'm just resting on the like side of the uh, um, boat uh, on the deck and just getting some rest. I just, uh, Anthony's just kind of like staring at the water. He just kind of like mumbles to himself, like I should have bought a fishing pole for this trip. This would have been such a good time. I could have. I mean, when am I going to be back in this place? Maybe I've picked one up on the way back. He's just <laughs> mumbling about fishing for a while and wishing he had alcohol is is what he's doing. <laughs> and Kiris would be just keeping themselves busy by like trying to make sure things are like still like like they're trying to make themselves useful they've been on the ship before so like they know like to look out for things that are loose or like not looking right but at the same time like they know they're not going to get any extra pay for extra work so they're not trying too hard to be helpful but they are still grateful to joseph so they're they're staying busy on on the main deck and at one point, as you're sailing through, Joseph actually, well, actually, he comes down off his little perch where he's, he's uh, steering. He get, he picks up a carrot from inside. He actually walks to the very... I Okay, I'm, I'm trying to think nautical terms. I don't know nautical terms. <laughs> We're going to say the front of the ship. Very technical. And he <laughs> throws the carrot off the side of the ship. Into the river. And he, he looks at you, Kiss, and he says... Now, now, kids, always remember on when you get traffic when you're sailing down the bogan. Chuck a vegetable into the canal for good luck. Yeah, Joseph. Of course, I, I know, I know. Well, you know, I just want to think. I, I taught you right. <sighs> you. Of course you did. I just, I made one mistake in the city, okay? You don't gotta hammer home all the lessons again. I, I remember. Don't worry. Ah, uh, you're a good kid, Kiss. So, you spend the, you spend the better part of a day traveling, and actually at one point along the way, you do see... Actually, let's uh, move you guys along as you're sailing down. You're sailing down the canal here. At one point, you see a patrol of road wardens along the side. So along the canal, there are paths. A lot of ships will actually have um, horses that will kind of pull barges rather than, you know, sail into their own power. But you see some road wardens, they're kind of following along beside you and... The captain looks up and he says, Ahoy there, how's everyone doing? Oh, uh, the captain of the road wardens or John? The captain of the road wardens. Ah. Uh, 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 Anthony will just kind of nod his head at them and kind of go to the opposite side of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't think they can exactly see me because I'm just, you know, resting on the side of the ship. <laughs> like, sitting down, resting. Is everyone hiding from the police? <laughs> I mean, I don't... No, I was, not at I don't, all. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think... I don't think, uh, they, I don't think my character even knows they're there. So. I just... It is it is well within my nature to avoid interacting with them. So I'm just going <laughs> to just give them a friendly wave nod. Uh, just... And inconspicuously make your way across the Yeah, <laughs> just pick up a box that does not need to be picked up and put it somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, Kyrus will be polite, but like they they don't feel like they have business to to give road wardens like they're not we're not the captain joseph's the captain if he wants to talk to the road wardens he can well joseph's obviously he's up on the, the back the back of the mm -hmm. ship uh, with the wheel the road he's just trying to be friendly he says uh, be, uh beautiful day we're having are we i uh, praise sigmar praise the emperor uh, uh, yeah sigmar and the emperor yep pleasant day <laughs> Yep. <laughs> the the emperor protects. He sure does. <laughs> hey, am I wrong? Am I wrong? No, I love that. Am I wrong? Because it gives <laughs> off it, it gives off the energy of like like when you go to church and they're like and, you know the you know Christ is with you and then just from the back of the church just cares. He sure is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't raised right. No, okay. No, I, I fucking love it. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's, we, it's incredible. I love it. We lost our one Sigmarite. It's true. None of us know anything about God, and everybody's crazy about God. We kind of lost the guy who speaks God. So yep. yeah, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you find f folks hear the good news? Uh, uh, we we've, we've been working all morning. What's the news? Oh well, the emperor, you know, Sigma bless his soul, just declared a brand new. He just declared a new edict. There are no mutants in the empire. They have been completely eradicated. Glory to Sigma. Uh. Uh, glory to Sigmar. Yeah, that's that's pretty big. Antony will kind of perk his little ears up at that one. We the, mosey his way over. We fought mutants like two days ago, three days ago, tops in the <laughs> middle of a road. Uh, well, I mean, they just said it was that the edict was declared today, right? It's just... and like shooting Antony a look like, why are you provoking them? But, you know, not saying that out loud. <laughs> the robot actually kind of narrows his, his eyes at, uh, at, at Antony. And you can see like this look of annoyance and almost like <laughs> bewilderment. Lad, lad, you must be mistaken. There are no, there's no, emperor, there are no mutants. The war is won. The Emperor's declared That's... mutant kind has been eradicated. Uh, okay. I don't know. It I was... don't know what you. I don't know what you saw. But mutants. Oh. No. All right. I mean, I, hey, uh, you know, Sigmar provides. You know, maybe. You know, I, I, I could have been a trick of the eye, or maybe, the the great, folks such as yourself who serve to protect this beautiful land that we exist on really just were hard at work over the last couple of days. Uh, so, uh, and just all the time, of course, I, I don't question how hard you work. Oops, that would be foolish of me. Uh, but yeah, it's another great win for Sigmar and the emperor and all of us that live under those people. Uh, well, the the god and those, you, you know what I mean. He nods his approval. He seems quite satisfied with that answer. That you know, uh, 
did you, you know, you, you didn't dare to question the emperor. I mean, the, this is the empress edict. How could you question the emperor? Well, yeah, no. You find At folks. Least not out loud. You find folks. You have you have yourselves a wonderful day. Glory to Sigma. Glory to Sigmar. Yeah, Kirsel, wave. Glory to Sigmar. And they they continue down the road after that, and they kind of uh, they vanish into distances. Your ship's actually going pretty slow right now. It's it's having to take it slow to <sighs> not crash into the many other ships that are still complaining about the giant barge taking up like the entire canal. If you spend you spend the day on the oh, you spend the day on the canal, you have a chance at night to um dock next to like a roadside inn. There's there's, a, there's plenty along this way. Usually there's like every every with a day day sail, there's like another inn where you can kind of pull up and have a rest. And if you would like it, so here's what you can do, if you would like. You can obviously you can just sleep on the bow bell. It's free. But if you want, you can go into the inn and something you haven't done, you all have a skill called gossip. And if you want to like maybe learn something about the goings on in the Empire or rumors, possibly mundane, possibly work, you're welcome to. Or if you want to go in there and drink. Well, we <laughs> seem to have made our way to a, yet another place where I can acquire the sweet nectar of Sigmar. So, does anybody want to drink? Kears? Um, new friend who I have not actually talked to yet. Who? What? How did you end up with us? Did um, Anthony just, just say, uh, jo Joseph here kind of uh, treed both of us on accident because the guard did not understand that it was just one redhead. It was two for the price of one, and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, fried's pretty useful. Fried, okay. Yeah, nice to meet you. Fried, fried, fried brought. Fried, fried brought. Like the food. Yes. Um, let's just say my uh, family comes from a long line of bread makers, but uh, kind of deviated. We kept the name brought. Ah, uh, brought instead of bread. Very yes. subtle. Okay. Um, well, it's wonderful to meet you. Um, say, what happened to... Uh, oh, what happened right. To uh, Burnt's in a little more trouble than uh, I was because I guess... I mean, you know how Burnt is and bringing up Sigmar. Um, well, the guy that Izzy and I tried to... Uh, capture on our own was also spouting about sigmar and was saying that burnt is a cultist oh and then wait <laughs> curious like says all that to anthony and then looks at fried like oh yeah you're here and then like looks back at anthony to wait for anthony's response <laughs> like oh ooh, maybe i shouldn't have said that in front of a new person but oh well that's ah, it's fine it's fine uh and anthony like takes like the the blunderbuss off the his back and holds it with both hands like it's a hammer uh and just goes no oh, i believe in sigmar more than you do and then like spins around in place to like mock the guard no i believe in sigmar more than you do and then yeah i can imagine that that's how that conversation went and they're just yelling at each other over which one of them thinks sigmar is cooler so that doesn't really surprise me at all um, well, yeah. I guess we'll just try to pick him up when we come back. Uh, Anthony, I do, I do have to apologize. Um, you know how I said that maybe that the, the dead men with the tattoos were just really good friends. Well, the extra dead men at the docks also had the same tattoos and i guess they've probably been trying to get in contact with burnt yeah and then yeah so i yeah i'm sorry no it's 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 fine 
it's, I, it's all I right. know you were you were in the middle of um being wasted so i i wasn't sure if you ever got to learn that detail especially with izzy being pretty out of it is she okay and like kiris is gonna like finally go below deck to check on izzy yeah she's down there okay bye ah uh, so uh the bride was it yeah um what uh you want to grab a drink tell me a little bit about yourself uh, uh, it feels strange to be doing this job with somebody that I know literally nothing about, other than a name, of course, and the fact that you come from bread makers. I don't drink. All right. Well, would you like to come with me while I drink and chat a little bit, possibly? Sure, why not? I guess it's best to not leave you alone. All right, you're going to fit in just great if you're going to hit me with the uh, I shouldn't be alone. <laughs> he has been here for three seconds and already knows. <laughs> just clicks his heels together, spins a 180, walks off the walks off the barge to go to the bar. Or the tavern. I apologize. Turn I like to think this basically this whole time. Anthony just saw Fried and thought it was as ki Kiss. Until he yeah. saw them both like together. Yeah, it was just like <laughs> until we were right next to each other. <laughs> uh, just rubs his eyes. He's like, "I'm not even drunk. How is there two of you? It's two <laughs> different people. That's wild." <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I'm, go I'm going to the bar. Uh, well, uh, before you leave, Joseph uh, he hops down from where he is as he thinks tied up, and he he pats on the back and he says. Uh, don't worry, laddie. I'll keep you company. Perfect. I knew there was somebody on this ship that would enjoy a good drink. Now, three new friends, shall we? I desperately could use a drink because, oh my god, does everything still hurt? And I did not drink yet today. So if we could solve both of those problems simultaneously, that would be wonderful. Well then, Joseph will accompany you into like nearby inn. This is like another coach house. You've been to coach house before. A lot of them look very similar. Usually there's, you know, there's like a little common area where everyone's drinking. This place has a few people there. And a lot of them, a lot of them are talking about, uh, well, this news you just got, the whole new mutants of the Empire. This seems to be like the big talk of the town. A lot of people... Uh, a lot of people are very happy about it, and there's talk that with no more mutants left, then they can start, they can clear out the, those damned orcs and goblins from the forests and the mountains. Soon, this will be a place only for humans. They'll be rid of all, they'll be rid of all the monsters and monstrosities and all that nastiness. Hmm. But in mm -hmm. general, it's a very good atmosphere. Everyone's happy. Everyone loves the news. Uh, sweet. Uh, I'd like to go up to the bartender and order myself a drink. Um, they barkeep, how much for a pint of ale here? A uh, pint of ale, that'll be, uh, uh, two pennies. Perfect. Give me two of them. All right. Well, he, then he uh, he quickly serves you up with a couple of uh, fairly cheap and slightly watered down ales, the kind of thing you'd expect. Yeah, that's about right. All right, uh, gentlemen. I I never got uh, Freed's pronouns. Uh, what, what uh, I... Well, I am a lady, so. Gotcha. Perfect. Uh, all right. Madam and sir, shall we sit down, enjoy some drinks, other than, of course, you, who doesn't drink, and uh, just get to know each other, talk about the trip, hang out a little bit. Eh? Eh? Sure, why not? So, Freed, 
tell me a little bit about yourself. How'd you how'd you end up in uh, in the old uh, jail back there with uh, with my friend Kears? Well, I was just eating bread in a window seat. Okay. They, well, just pick out whoever they want, and gu guards aren't very great at detecting who's an actual suspect and who's not, so they'll just pick whoever they want to pick. They tend to go for the redheads more. All right. The guards have a type. Good to know. Glad I got nothing up top. He kind of, like, slaps his... Is he? Is my character bald? I can't remember. Yeah, he's bald. Slaps his <laughs> big dumb bald head. Um. Uh. <sighs> wow, that's eaten the bread and had red hair. Oh, truly, an agent of chaos against Sigmar. It's fucking. They're just thugs that get nicer armor and swords. That's all they are. They. Slam some of his drink. You do get a few dirty looks with mention of uh, chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of you know, if you feel like you're sad the mood a little bit. Everyone there, like I said, is talking about how there's no mutants. How this is like oh. a big, big blow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, chaos is being cleared from the empire, and then here's yeah. you talking about chaos in the empire and. Uh, yeah, people aren't aren't thrilled with that. Was it? It was a, it was a joke. Everybody Anthony knows. not making friends at a bar. I'm God. so surprised. Damn it! This always happens. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. There's no more in the lad. Uh, uh, praise, praise the emperor. Uh, death to the mutant. And he holds up his his uh his tankard. Uh. I'm uh fry uh, here is just. Face palming and sighing, just like, ah, <laughs> just like knowing that this is just, he's gonna be trouble and drunk. Can I make like a performance check or like a, a, a something <laughs> for, for yeah, my big, my big a crowd check? <laughs> just, 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 do you like a, a performance or like a charm? Uh, does this game have, uh, this doesn't have performance, does it? Yeah, oh. you probably have to use charm. Uh, if I, that's like an actual, like... I mean, there is entertain. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a charm. What am I going for? Challenging? Average? Difficult? Um, that's the vibe. I'm going to say challenging, just because, like, yeah, you killed the I, vibe pretty quick. I did <laughs> annihilate the vibe. No! Shit! The vibe check not passed. Uh, <laughs> what, I'm, I actually don't want the bar to be mad at me. I Ooh, would like to use one reroll? of my points for a reroll. <laughs> Ooh. Excuse me. Oh, as a reminder, if you haven't, you do get to refill your fortune from last session. And Sweet. Anthony, go ahead. So you rolled a minus two. Yeah, that's bad. Go ahead and <laughs> if you want, spend a fortune to reroll that. Surely. This is my first time doing a reroll. Surely it fixes everything. Okay, <gasps> oh! it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Yeah, I only heavily. marginally failed now. <laughs> okay, yeah, you got a minus one this time, so it's better. But... Okay, so you have pissed the bar off with your talk of chaos. So what if, wouldn't it be fitting, you could take a dark deal to re-roll again? <laughs> I am Join me, Anthony. Not, I am not <laughs> using chaos to beat chaos. I am not, I'm not... Oh, uh, you will that. not invoke the chaos that yeah, you were talking as, about? <laughs> as much as I desperately want to just make Anthony just this terrifying amalgamation of like <laughs> cursed uh, mutant-esque vibes uh it's a little early on for that i think i think i'm just gonna fail <laughs> i think i'll just take that failure <laughs> okay so yeah you rolled minus one you take the failure the crowd is not impressed with you like they they're giving you like the dirtiest looks possible like you can feel like you probably you probably don't want to get like too drunk here at least if you want to you know, you know not have your ass kicked and possibly th your body thrown into the river he he like sets down his drink on the table and holds his holds his hands up all right all right i'm sorry i apologize 
We're all we're all hanging out. Everything's good. I apologize. He sits back down. Uh you hear and, one voice. We hear one voice. In the crowd is asking, "Like, what are you? Some kind of mutant lover?" <laughs> no, no. I, I've I've actually killed them before. I don't like them. They're they're bad for the empire. I'm glad they're gone. I just I all it was simply a joke made in bad taste, sir. I apologize. What are you What are you hiding? You got another eye on you somewhere? Nay, you got some mouth growing in your in your asshole. <laughs> All right, buddy, you're gonna need to buy me a few drinks before you get to find that out. <laughs> okay, with with that, like, so this 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 is a man at the table with a few of his friends. They look like pretty much, you know, the sailor type. And with that, they kind of stand up. There's like How that. Does sudden... This always happen. <laughs> Damn it! Is that like you... sl- they like silence and it's just the sounds of like chairs scraping across the floor as that table stands up? There's like three guys there, all looking at you. You just Maybe... provoke everyone where you go. Maybe we just take a good look at this guy. Maybe uh, maybe we had to drag him outside and strip him down and and make sure. Lads, 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 calm. It's okay. I'm not here to do any harm. You're not here to do any harm. We are simply all here after either a long day on the canal or a long day out around these parts. Just need some drinks. We're just trying to have a good time. There's no need for stripping or beating or anything like that. I apologize for what I said, it was simply a joke made in bad taste, and then you kind of jested me, and I jested you back. It's it's banter. It's nothing else. Look, can I buy you a drink to make up for it? Joseph will actually stand up as well, and uh, he addresses the table. Friends, friends, look. There's no mutants in the Empire anymore. He can't be a mutant, can he? And why don't we, why don't we see how effective Joseph is? Joseph, we're going to give him a slightly, oh wow, okay. He's Joseph, so charming. He oh. is. Was that a one? That was a one. That was Let's a one. Let's go, Jonathan. Love Joseph. 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 <laughs> I love so how that's the second time you called him Jonathan as well. <laughs> is it? Oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I'm keeping track for my grandpa. <laughs> My adopted oh. grandpa. <laughs> <sighs> oh. oh my god. It's literally in the chat box. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's a this charming name. man is saving you from I, what I don't you even started. know his name. <laughs> I, just, I made it. Ugh. Friends, there's no mutants here. Listen, he's just... He's just a bit of an idiot, that's all. He's a, he's a simpleton, you know? He does a little bit of work on the ship. I'm sorry. He fell off the boat one time, hit, smacked his head. Don't mind him. He'll buy you, he'll buy you some drinks, and we can, all, we can all forget it. We're all friends, aren't we? The table, they kind of like, they kind of uh, looked between one another, and they just sort of like... Give this dismissive wave, like, uh, it's not worth it. Just, just get back to drinking. I'm, I don't think Anthony's much of a people person, is he? He, I, mm, the, 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 I <laughs> want to be a person. The, I say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't like p- nobles. And people that are mean to him, and so far those are the only people in the bar. <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Aww. Well, well, shit. Thank you, Joseph. I I really didn't mean any. I mean the the buy me a few three drinks thing was probably a little over the top, but I didn't mean anything by the rest of it. I didn't know they'd, they'd be touchy about it. 
Well, are you going to follow through and actually buy them the drinks to kind of uh, placate everyone? Uh, yeah, we're getting paid a silver a day, right? Yes, you are. How many people are at that table? Just three. That's 20 brass pennies per g or silver? It's um, 12 per... 12? 12? I don't know if it's 12 per silver, 20 silver per gold. Oh, okay. 12 per silver. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll buy him a drink. I'll buy them all drinks. It's fine. It'll it's just money. It comes, it goes. Okay, let me just uh try and do this right. Because I always suck doing this. It would be six breaks. Oh, okay. Uh don't forget you bought yourself a drink and yeah. you also said you bought Joseph a drink. You're spending money oh, as fast as you're making it. Oh my god, Urkel. I sure oh. am. Hey, gotta spend money to make bad choices. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Um, yeah, he kind of he gets some of the drinks here. Again, I apologize. Thank you for not making this a bad time for anybody. Uh, enjoy the drinks and have a good evening. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just don't go, don't go talk about chaos and it like that. Won't happen again, friends. Won't happen again. And it takes I a love... moment, but the the the, the uh, mood of the whole place it does pick up again. People start drinking and laughing again and again. They go back to talking about how there's no more mutants in the empire. How wonderful the em the emperor is. Lots of praise be the emperor and wishes for the emperor's good health. A lot of, you know, um, a lot of drinking to the emperor's good health and long life. But, All right. um, Kiss. So you go back, you go down inside. So you're going to check on Izzy. Mm -hmm. Izzy is doing better. Izzy is, at this point, I'm going to say probably sleeping. She lost a lot of blood from that cut. But she's alive. She's breathing. She's on the mend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After checking on her, like, I just want to make sure, like, she, like, I've seen people, like, not take care of a wound and then get sick and die from it. So I was just making sure, like, oh, is he still breathing? Okay, she's fine. She got tended to. Um, but did Joseph have anyone else on the ship, like, with us? No, I never met the just, barber, dude. It is, right now, it's just the four, five of you. Okay. Um, I would have just hung back and stayed on the ship, like, if I realized, like, oh, after checking on Izzy, it's, like, eerily quiet, and everyone else went to drink, and, I mean, I never drank every time we were at the inns anyway, so I, I would probably just be hanging out uh, on the deck waiting for them to come back because it also just feels wrong to leave Izzy alone <laughs> so some okay somebody cares at least somebody didn't just abandon Izzy no well, you know, no uh... I mean if you want to drink there is wine on the ship like watered down wine <laughs> and well we can say that you know Joseph and Anthony and Fried spend the better part of the evening, well, I mean, two of them spend it drinking, I imagine, and they can take turns buying drinks for each other. The, you know, the little incident is forgotten and everyone's quite happy to chat in. There's, again, there's lots of talk, there's lots of talk as well of, as the, uh, the Emperor turning his back on the College of Majors and how he's finally doing something about those... There's like witch. They, they, they like to call them like witches and uh, malcontents, deviants, all manner of nasty things. But at the end of the day, they're happy that uh, the emperor's done with them. He's he's commissioned. Apparently, he's commissioned a new engineer school. So a you know, a switch to the good old sciences instead of that evil sorcery. Hmm. I guess could I make one of those gossip checks? 
Absolutely, you can. Why don't you give me a... You don't give me an average gossip chat. Ooh. Okay. Oh, dang. Okay. Um, Not a charmer, but a gossip. I see you, Anthony. Yeah. I'll, I'll Anthony, is, Anthony is just a gossipy <laughs> bitch, isn't he? <laughs> so true. He has no redeemable qualities. He is just a bitch through and through. Look at him go. Oh my god. No charm, but good ears. It's it's kind of like that. It's just kind of just like one of those like one of those retail workers is just like, oh yeah, no, I, I've heard some things and there and there. Yeah. And yeah. Cannot charm for anything. Yeah, but they know. They're it. just like they're just a gossiper. That's also just very single. Oh yeah, that's him for sure. But yeah, what do I? What do? What are my drunk ears here? <laughs> you get to talking to um, kind of this middle-aged woman. And she tells she tells you how. Uh, you know what she heard? She heard that. Okay, she said that. Listen, there's a, apparently there's this countess in uh, what was it? What was it? Um, no. She had a wizard murder a love rival at a party. Ooh. But I mean, this is null. This, this, they're weird over there. I wouldn't be surprised if it's true. Murder a love rival. That is one heck of a story. Uh, wizards doing, doing courtly murders. That's, wow. I and at the back of his mind he's like I it would be difficult for me to care less but that's that's crazy this ooh <laughs> nobles murdering people what's <laughs> uh thanks for that info that's a it's a super interesting fact um I yeah. I heard I heard you put a the wizard put a curse on him his oh. eyes melted from his head his tongue swelled up and burst Nasty, nasty stuff, these wizards. And then you hear someone else chime in. She says, no, 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 no. That's not what happened. Turned him into a frog, I heard. And then fed then fed the frog to the lover. That is crazy. Why? Why would? Why? That's that's so awful. That's so dark. These these wizards must be crazy. I could I could understand why the 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 uh the witches be crazy. Uh I could understand why uh why our our great emperor Sigmar bless his name <laughs> is uh is well, trying the emperor to cut the, was, the Empress Carl Franz. Right. I was I was saying I could understand why the Emperor is cutting ties with the wizards college, which they talked about, right? Yep, yep, right? yep, yep. Okay, whew, I, I remembered. Uh, I, the wizardry is you know, dark, dark stuff. It's terrible, truly. Someone else chimes in. Uh, they, they just ban them all, toge all together. You know who I blame? It's damn elves. Them and their magic. Yeah, those... Those... Those damnable elves. It's, uh, it's damn, damn shame they're around mucking with human business he's like violently uncomfortable but trying to keep his cool with this and it, you know what it doesn't go on too long there's uh there's this little they get a little bit too into the uh blaming wizards but eventually it, it turns to more friendly topics there's a lot of talk about you know mm. uh a lot of talk turns to Schaffenfest. a lot of people were talking about Schaffenfest. The amazing fair taking place in Bogenhafen soon. They say it's, it's uh, what like you have to go. You have to go to Shop Fest at least once in your life. It's amazing. There's a whole circus. They even hit. There's even apparently a zoo of uh, mysterious creatures from all over the place. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Zoo of creatures. If I uh, ever have free time, I'm sure I'll go see some cool creatures. Hmm. 
And Anthony, Anthony kind of goes and sits back down at the table. Well, I learned that he kind of like leads into the other two. Uh, I learned that a countess somewhere might have had a wizard kill somebody that was a rival lover in some kind of horrific way that nobody understands. Uh, everyone hates elves. Uh, and, uh, there's and a zoo somewhere. And dwarfs. Yeah, just really anything that isn't human. Um, uh, and, uh, there's a zoo with some cool stuff in it. So, uh, not a lot that helps with a lot, guys. So, uh, there's that. Uh, Anyway, uh, fried, right? Yes, fried. Correct. Yes. I'm interested to know a little bit more about you, friend, because we're traveling together. If you would prefer, I could start. I always love telling people about myself, but would like to know a bit more about you. Um, before you start there, I will say after a while, Joseph will go back to the ship and he'll kind of, you know, he'll go up to Curse and say, You can, I'll take over here if you want. You can, you can go, uh, chat with your new friends. I'll look after the elf. Thanks, Joseph. It, it's no surprise it was quiet, but I just wanted to make sure. And I'll get off the ship and, uh, I, th yeah, since they returned my effects, I'll put my cheesecloth back on my eyes before I go into the inn. Just in case he's... I don't know how dim it is in there, but I wouldn't want someone to see my eye color and to be like, what's up with that, so... Right. I will return to you guys with a cheesecloth on my eyes. Tied around my head. Ah. Kears. You're just... Figuring out some more about our second now second redhead friend here. Isn't that right, Fried? You're gonna tell me a little bit about Yeah, yeah um well, as you can tell, I'm a Reichlander. So got that going on. Uh Rollins is probably selling pretty short. Five three. Wait, does did a Fried actually I, tell I, them I'm five three? Yes. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Okay. It's. I think. Isn't that only slightly taller than Izzy? I think that's like. Yeah, I think Izzy's five two, and then yeah. I'm six flat. I think six six two. I'm six two. And yeah, then isn't Burnt, Burnt the tallest? was like a giant, like six five yeah. six six. I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It goes Burnt, Anthony, Kears, <laughs> now Fried, and then Izzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Excellent. What did you uh what did you do for work, Fred? I actually didn't do anything for work. I'm kind of just, you know, a freelancer doing trying to make my living off the streets and everything. Uh, I have stolen some wallets before. Uh let's just say they did get returned to their uh rifle owners just not with any money in them <laughs> that now that is something i like to hear and he like raises a glass to cheers you and then remembers that you're not drinking and <laughs> clinks it on the table and drinks <laughs> uh there a uh, reason you don't partake in the the good stuff here uh one question: What is the drinking age in this, uh, in this like whole like country? Um. Well, okay. So medieval, basically, you're gonna be drinking pretty young, but like watered down. So like, um, a standard drink is gonna be like heavily watered down ale or wine. Like this isn't like you know modern beer where it's you know you get easily drunk off it. A lot of it will be you'll drink ale and wine with everything, but. You won't get much of a buzz off it. They they totally have those signs where it's like, if you're this tall, you can drink. Mm -hmm. So they don't care if you're like 
14 and getting a drink if you're tall and you're working. <laughs> so, right. Listen, if you're not stuck at your mother's teeth, you won't have to drink. Yep. Yep. <laughs> fair. That is fair, yeah. Uh, well, I don't like to drink because uh, drunk me goes into some terrible decisions. Ah, yeah, some some people can uh, can get a little rowdy when they drink, isn't that isn't that right, Kears? Good old good old burnt Houston, just get up to <laughs> get up to all sorts of stuff when he would drink. He's just got the biggest shit eating grin on his face. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen him, Fried. You would have you'd love the guy, big guy. All he did was start bar fights and talk about Sigmar that. Fucking asshole. I miss him every day. Uh, <laughs> so, making your living off the street. Don't drink because it does stuff to you. Got arrested for eating bread and having red hair. All right. It's a, it's a good backstory. I, uh, good, good, uh, good information. I feel like, I feel like we're gl growing closer here. So let me, let me tell you a little about myself. Uh, Name's Anthony. Uh, Anthony's Schlagringe, but don't don't worry about the last name. It's not important. Um, and he when he says his last name, he kind of like leans in and says his name full name a little quieter. Um, I uh, I used to be from uh, uh, fuck, what's it called? Ubersreich? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the city from the the Vermintide games. Yeah. Um. Used to be from Uber's Reich, uh, made, uh, made a living making sure people were safe in that city. Uh, yeah. And, uh, well, the, uh, the, the business that I worked for kind of, well, it kind of fell apart. And I decided to go start my own, um, sa safety business uh in a bigger city you know i felt like it was time you know nothing t tying me down just you know put my stuff in a bag and hit the road went to the capital and now here we are so eh. it's uh it's about all there is about me i can punch real good and i like drinking food's pretty good too uh yeah that's me. Good to meet you, Anthony. To be fair, there wasn't much tying any of us together except getting to Altdorf, now that I think about it. Yeah, it was... I mean, it was circumstance, right? I mean, that's, that's how anybody ends up traveling together and working together, right? Right place, right time, you know? You get to meet each other. I had been traveling with... Good old burnt for for a little while, uh, just cause well, he was fun. We poked fun at each other all the time and yeah, fought a lot, kind of just generally at odds. It was just kind of a good time, upsetting Bur him. Burnt really likes to physically harm you, Anthony. Are you? How are you feeling since he's not here anymore? Uh, less sore, more bored. I would say. Those are, that's the trade-off. Uh, he's a lot of fun to have around, but, uh, you know, we did occasionally beat the shit out of each other. That is how he did it. And usually he would stop me from making bad decisions. Uh, and, you know, vice versa, I would say. Sometimes he'd be a little too zealous with uh, his whole Priest of Sigmar gig, and I'd be a little too zealous on... My hatred of people that hate people like me. Um, you do balance each other out. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see him again when we make it back to the city. I mean, if we're making it back to the city. Who knows yeah. what will happen at the uh, Schlafenfest. Yeah. He's a, he's a big guy. I'm sure he could take care of himself. You know, I'm sure he has this whole shtick where he can live off of just prayers to Sigmar and he'll meditate, I guess. <sighs> it's going to be weird. He probably feels a little naked without his hammer. That's probably about it. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. 
I think out of all of us, he'd probably, well, I'd probably have the the best time in prison, uh, because I mean I'm just surrounded by friends, uh, but uh, him on the other hand, he's just, I'm sure nothing really bothers him. He's a bit of a hard ass. I'm sure he'll be free in no time. Exactly. You know, exactly. We're, we're worshiping the worship God is, you know, one way to get a free pass out of jail. Exactly. That's. Uh, and, 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 him, and him being devout of Sigmar goes to show that, yeah, he's going to get out in no time. Yeah. Uh, can I do a quick scan of the room to see if there's any people that look to be like guards and or road wardens? Hmm. Let's say it's going to be late at night. So some road wardens, a small patrol has shown up. Basically, they're there to spend the night and you know rest up for the next day of patrols. Hmm. But I won't say what I was going to say. Good. I'm <laughs> glad I was smart you enough to it. double check. Yeah. Well, we can um, say that they're in like, as the night progresses, it gets busier. They're in the table on the other side of the room. It's getting pretty loud. Like a lot of people now are getting something a little, maybe a little drunk. Hmm. A little happy. You know, it, it just surprises me sometimes. If you, if you, I mean, look at that. Look at that interaction we had on the on the barge earlier with those road wardens, Kish. You remember that? You know what I'm talking about? I, I mean, yeah. They're... You remember the interaction? Yeah, of, of course. It, it's crazy how it feels like there's just like a list of things that all of these road wardens want to hear. It kind of worries me sometimes about how easy it would be how easy it is to kind of dupe those guys. Say stuff like, you just have to yell, praise Sigmar, Emperor's name. Carl Franz is is fantastic. And they're like, ah, yes, I agree. And then they, they go away. Did I Anthony just... say praise Sigmar out loud? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, quietly. Okay. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm still... I'm still not... Th- yeah, you're not. What's your consume alcohol? How many alcohols have you had? What's What's wrong with saying praise Sigmar? What if you said it too loudly? <laughs> the, well, I'm, just, the, I'm just wondering the, if you, if you said okay. it quietly, we won't worry. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I said it quietly. Okay. Um, it just uh, it surprises me. I I would have thought that there'd be more than just kind of that, you know? Because that- I remember. Back where I'm sorry. Good. What were you saying, Kirsch? No, I mean, and you're fine, Anthony. I just, I was just very surprised. We've encountered a handful of road wardens, and those ones were just ready to hear whatever they wanted to. It just, yeah. You're right. It seemed too easy to placate yeah. them. Well, I mean, between uh, between the one that watched a noble stab an elderly man and then these folks like it it kind of makes me think this is like not the most uh, I should probably save this for the boat We've, we'll have and... plenty of time to go through this oh yeah um, but either way uh Freed, I uh, or Fried, I I know you uh, you talked a little bit about uh, some wallets that made it back to their rightful owners a little bit lighter. Uh, we should uh, just talk a little bit more about that sometime. I might be uh, think we could work together on something like that. I uh, barely remember who I took it from because it was when I was much younger. Well, you were good at what. You were good at it when you were younger, and he kind of, like, looks fried up and down, and, and you're still pretty... Got a got a bit of more of a sneaky build than I do, so uh, maybe maybe we could help each other out with something like that. Um, but either way, uh, I suppose it's about time, you know, Joseph is probably going to run us into the ground again tomorrow. So, you should probably get some rest. 
I mean, I've already had rest. I've been resting the entire day. So I'm probably just going to stay night watch. Hey, that's fair. Somebody's got to watch the boat. I don't hate that idea. Uh, I'm going to check on one thing real quick, and then I'm going to go back to the boat. But this was this was nice. I feel like we, even even though we've been traveling for a little bit, these introductions are nice. I mean, Gears, I, didn't, I guess I didn't give you any chance to talk about your background but yeah it's a long travel i'm sure we'll get to know each other more and he kind of like punches you in the shoulder like <laughs> friendly oh yeah like here's I just, kind I of just, nods i just like sort of casually just say ow <laughs> did you say ow four gears <laughs> uh, symbiotic uh, redheads yes, yes. <laughs> You feel each other's pain. Hive mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fred's just you... starting to fuck with Anthony already. They fit right. <laughs> she fits <Yeah>. right in. <laughs> She's trying to psychologically damage Anthony. Yeah. He kind of like he does like the lizard blink where he blinks with one eye and then the other eye is just like, all right, and stands up. Uh, and I have a question for the the barkeep, but if you guys wanted to talk about something or had anything. Oh no! You go ahead. Class. Yeah, I'd be ready to go back to the boat. Excuse me, uh, the barkeep. Aye, right, what can I get for you? Uh, just a question for you. Is there like a... Why did I just go like super <laughs> Irish? <laughs> you did! Uh, you just did. a question. <laughs> just just get, go completely into my Midwest accent. Oh, do you know if there's a, there's a general <laughs> store around here? I should have given him that accent. Oh, I've, a dang. Next so one. Easy. Yeah, next character when Anthony dies from getting shot in the chest again. <laughs> Jevil's a general store? Uh, je close to Jevil's store, probably going to be a few miles out at least. All right, just wondering. Just uh, looking to pick up uh, some fishing gear. It's a long trip down the canal and figured it'd be nice to have something to do on the boat. That's all. But uh, appreciate it. And at this point, I'm assuming you all go back to the boat and some of you are going to sleep and one person is going to stay, you know, watching. Just night walk. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so the night is basically uneventful, peaceful, and you get to set out bright and early the next day. Before the sun's even up, Joseph is in there waking you all up, dragging you up onto the deck and putting you through your paces. And you're out again onto the canal for another wonderful, glorious Sigmar-approved day. Sigmar-approved? <laughs> this day, sponsored by Sigmar. <laughs> Can I do another endurance to for wounds? You can, yes. Okay. That was... It's just, just an average. Average, okay. Yes. Gotta remember that. Plus Yay! four. So Ooh. plus four, pl so it's four plus your toughness, which is three. So you have a total of seven. So I'm back to full. Yay. Wonderful. Okay. You're feeling so much better. Um, can I do a endurance boat running? You can do an endurance for and everything. Okay. You can like... do like help with the boat. Yeah. Um, ooh, okay. We can, uh, let me have a look. Because that's going to be a little bit tougher because um, normally there's like, there is a skill for sailing, but it's what's called an advanced skill. I mean, if you don't have points in it, you're not really trained to do it. So, yeah, I don't have anything <laughs> for sailing. Um, so. <laughs> so what I'm going to say is, let me have, let's, let me have a quick look here. Uh, Joseph, where are you? If you want, you can give me just a plain agility test. And we're going to see, like, what you can do. So all you have to do is go into your main tab. Just click agility and... One sec, let me just uh, click, wait so, for oh, Yeah, so you click uh, where the number is. So, like, where the uh, the current total score is for agility. Yeah. And that should open up the menu to roll and just give me... So, since you know absolutely nothing, it's going to be a difficult roll. Uh-huh. 
And rolling. What? Okay. Ooh. So you. Okay. <laughs> Just pure luck there. <laughs> you roll a plus three there, plus three success level. So, yeah, after, pretty much I'm going to say, like, after yesterday, after watching Joseph doing a lot of this work himself, because well, probably Joseph and Curse, because Curse is a little bit before. You can kind of go around and get things set up on your own, mostly. You've climbing all over the rigging like a little spider monkey. And Joseph, he's quite impressed. He watches you and he kind of he nods his approval. Says, "Damn, you are a good hire." And he kind of looks at Curse. He says, uh, "You know, it says um, you better be careful there. I might have might have a new redhead on board." You know, I mean, Joseph, I'm not jealous. Well, hopefully this one causes me less trouble than you. I wouldn't uh, hope for that too soon. Well, hey, Joseph, if you need any extra money, I've got you. I've got some quick hands. Okay, with that, he kind of... Uh, that, that, that proud expression sort of turns a little bit of wariness, like... I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Uh, we're all good law-abiding folks around here, aren't we? And Kears just smirks at Joseph like, look at what you hoped for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't okay. want a troublemaker, huh? <laughs> Joseph, okay, okay, Kears. <laughs> Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon. Nobody's replacing you. That's what I like to hear. Joseph, you pulled half of your crew out of prison the day before we left. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, 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 and the other half of your crew showed up almost beaten to death after running from the guards. I don't really know what you were expecting here, buddy. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? Can't argue with that, can I? Hmm. Let's just say, let's just say, I like to give everyone a chance. Rega yeah, regardless of the past. But anyway, why don't we set sail? We still have a few days left before we get to Bogenhofen. I don't imagine there'll be much happening, so enjoy the ride. Uh, Vix brings up a really good point in chat. Uh, Fry, there's <laughs> a very important question. Uh, Fry, do you have the, uh, the advanced skill read? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. She, she also Son cannot read. Of a bitch. <laughs> okay, so, so, so basically, right now, there is one person in this entire crew who's irreplaceable. That's Vix, because. <laughs> yep. Is he the only one of you idiots that can fucking read? <laughs> yeah, she's the only one who can read and write. <laughs> I, I used to know how to read, but then I fell out of the boat and hit my head, apparently. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I, mean, I know how to art. <laughs> yeah. What is art if not shaped letters? <laughs> exactly. You know, if you guys give me a month, I can learn a new language. <laughs> That's what I can do. <laughs> Okay, okay, but here's the thing, though. <laughs> Learning the language is not the same as learn to read and write the language. I know, I know. <laughs> so it's going to be, how many languages can you speak? Oh, I can speak five languages. How many can you read and write? Mm, about that. <laughs> <laughs> about but, that. Uh, I can't yeah. read at all. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like the idea that, that because this party can't read or write, we just assume that her ability to read and write... Is he's magic also magic because he's also thing. the only person that can use magic? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just part of her magical abilities. Like, you understand what the symbols on the paper means? <laughs> what foul sorcery is this? <laughs> it's like you know, like D D. You have wizards that can read, you know, magical runes. Yeah. As far as you guys are concerned. Everything's magical runes. <laughs> Fair. 
she reads the words on that paper, it'll kill us all. <laughs> burn the oh. witch. <laughs> burn the she witch. reads, burn her. <laughs> Purge the heretic. <laughs> oh, God. I love that. So, yes, you spend another day cruising down the Vice, but the Vice Brook Corinne Canal. We'll say, you know what, after midday, after you guys have had a chance to like sit down and have a little bite to eat of, you know, um, what was it? Hard, some like nice hard tack and some watered down wine. Wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. My favorite. <laughs> Another boat, actually, a small boat, pulls, kind of sails up beside you, and let me get a nice image for you guys here. Boat. Boat. <laughs> oh, God, I messed that up. Well, one second, let me do this right. Uh-oh. Oh. This pleasant-looking gentleman, he's uh, standing at the, I think we said the bow of the ship is the front. Yes. Except the, the bow is the front. He looks up and he he waves and he says, "Hello there." Hello. Well, greetings. Good day. The Sigmar protect you and all that. Oh, oh, oh! Yes. Um. Praise be to Sigmar. Yes. So, how are you fine folk doing? Where are you on your way to Bogenhafen? Uh, yeah, we're uh, helping out a friend, mutual friend, here. Move some stuff. Yeah, we're that's uh, that's where we're headed. So this is the ship. I said it has four people, along with this seemingly pleasant old man. There is a younger couple, um, a man and a woman. The woman you can see has a fairly scarred. One of her eyes is it's missing and scarred over, like possibly burnt. Ooh. That you can't exactly tell. Hmm. And there's another person kind of at the back of the boat who is uh, just sort of keeping to themselves. A large man. Like, we're talking large, probably at least a burnt large. Where So the other three, they were in pretty normal, like, you know, standard looking clothes, like what you would see on any any sailor. But this person, uh, let's see an image to give you a better idea. I guess you can see a few images. Mm. Oh, they look super friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look totally super friendly. <laughs> yeah, we'll, oh, God. We'll kind of shrink these down oh. a bit so you can get them all. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh this, boy. Look at this gaggle of people. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> with the woman, ignore the weird tattoos. There's no tattoos, oh, but okay. she is missing the eye. But then there's this other large gentleman who... On screen. Uh, dark clothes, a hood pulled up. He has a mask on as well that covers his entire face. You can't see anything with his face. You can't see any skin at all from him. But apart mm. from him, everyone else looks friendly enough, normal enough, like dressed as any kind of peasant or river girl in person. Mm. What uh, what brings you down the, the down the channel? Us, we're on our way to Sharfen Fest. Ah, I've heard of it. Sounds like a good time. None of us have been, so we're pretty excited to try it out for the first time. Should be a good time. Oh, oh, oh absolutely. If you're in a bargain heaven, you absolutely have to go to Sharfen Fest. I went, there, I went there once in my in my younger days. God, that must have been. Oh, today, nowadays, it feels like, it feels like another life, you know, you know how it is when you get old. But my son over here and his wife, they've, they've never been, so. I think of this as a bit of a, a bit of a family, a family trip down to Scharfenfest. That's very wholesome. And, uh, Anthony kind of like, looks down for a second, kind of like shakes his head and stabs back to it. Well, uh, safe travels, I suppose. Uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, 
You can call you can call me Gots. Oh, this, this conversation is continuing. <laughs> he kind of like mumbles that to himself. Friendly man. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Gots. Uh, my name's Anthony. So you find fo- you guys come from Altdorf? Well, uh, usually anybody who knows, it's usually not a great sign when somebody hears my name and then asks if I came from somewhere that I may or may not have. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, well, can, you, oh, can yeah. I just go ahead? Well, like, here's has just been like, and seeing that, like, this conversation's very weird and it's just... Well, we came from that direction. Why do you need to know? Just being friendly is all. Oh, what direction did you all come from? Altdorf as well. We just, we left there the other day. Huh. City's a little big for my taste. It's, uh, too many, too many people, too many eyes, too many... He kind of like he says that like too like too many prying eyes that he kind of like his eyes go really wide for a second because he remembers that somebody on that boat is missing an eye. Uh, and oh my uh, God. It's, it's just I completely naturally said that and then realized what I had done. Uh, and uh, just it's it's uh, it's interesting. I'm from a slightly smaller city, so. Yeah. Oh, so not a, so you're not from Altdorf then. Nah, nah, out of town. Well, then what, what brought you to the big city? But had some reason to be there. Ah, I just... Trying to start some business, figured the best place to do that was where most of the people were, but uh, it's just a lot going on, you know? More people means more customers, but also more competition. You know how it is. A lot of, tr- you get a lot, a lot of trouble in big city, can't you? Yeah, yeah, there's just, like I said, too many people looking around for too much, you know? It's just, it's not great. Can't can't get a good start there, really doing anything. Um, I would like to pull a uh, curse aside real quickly. Um, mm-hmm. Hey, uh, curse, I think these kind of bounty hunters. I'm just yeah. assuming. By oh, the way, that? just so you guys know, you can mm-hmm. do is a test like intuition where you can try and get a feel for someone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just I remember because I did that on Philippe a long time ago and fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I I was thinking about doing that, but I just I haven't he hasn't said anything quite yet to justify me trying to read him. So I'll, that's that's why I haven't. I mean but, I mean somebody else can well, uh, does do you well, want to do that uh, or Yeah, I guess I'll run intuition then. Yeah. Uh, will it just be a challenging roll then? Uh, yeah, so this will be what's called an opposed roll. So go ahead and I'm going to have you. Yeah, just roll it. Just go ahead and roll and I will set I will set up the opposed roll. Oof. So you got a minus oh, two. But, no. but not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, give me all one quick second here. He's just a guy drive, uh, fucking sail a boat. Maybe he's really bad at being lion. Well, not quite as bad. Because what we can do here is we can actually do an opposed test there, and... Um, I won. <laughs> you can re-roll. Yes, yes. I'm yes. going to use a, a fortune to re-roll. Okay, so uh... to do that, all you have to do is right-click on the roll you made, and you'll see an option to use a fortune point to re-roll. It's that easy. It's so easy. Unless you're like me and... <laughs> Hold on. Ooh. Well. Okay, now you're, now you're tied. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now we're tied. So... <laughs> what we can do is let's get rid of that and let's do a quick... Uh... Okay, I think th- so it, says, it says they won, but uh, what's tied? So you know, what you yeah. what you can do is if you really want to try and win this, 
you can take a dark deal. So what will happen is you'll take a point of corruption, <laughs> but you can re-roll it again. Yeah, you know what? I will do that. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, found you. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, God baby. damn it! She, <laughs> she succeeded, though. This is... She, she's the better she's redhead. Older. Firstly, I want to say, <laughs> God damn it, Foundry. That's not the name <laughs> of the token. Why are you... Oh my god, I gotta figure out why it does that. <laughs> I, 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 I believe in our RPing abilities that if we don't... if. Even if they were a cultist, we would just be like, I saw it in the thing, so that I have that knowledge now. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you no more. I mean, okay, to be fair, they were just kind of sussy being friendly anyway. Who is friendly in this universe, okay? <laughs> Besides Anthony yeah. at the bar. Um, excuse me. The best person in the entire world. Oh my world. god, fully I will forget. <laughs> yeah. I will forget that man for as long yeah. as I live. Yeah. Man How? Who's how can you get Philippe? <laughs> Man who is desperately just trying to make up for being having like the fourth thing that he said just be horrifically sexist. <laughs> no, just... he, made, he made it up to literally everyone else, and he's like basically Izzy's pet, and I still don't like him. That's super fair. He he didn't he didn't really make it up to you. No. Well, fr uh, fried. So you get a feeling that um, they're fishing for something. They're after something. They're not who they say. They're, they're not really who they say they are, today they are. And they're trying to learn something like about you guys. Something they suspect that they want to know. Okay. Uh, I guess uh... <laughs> I guess I guess I'll let uh, Kirsten uh, I think that they're trying to get to know us for certain reasons like not good reasons well do you have any idea how we should shake them off I mean we're we're going down the same river to the same festival I don't they even said they came from the same direction that's it might be hard to like lose them if you think that they're trying to get something from us oh, i think like these are something to deal with you know government or you know darkness stuff but uh i think the only way uh we can really shake them off is antony and is, this is this is the uh, moment where, where fry puts on their tinfoil hats <laughs> yes. That man actually is a mutant. He's wearing a mask and a cloak because he's a mutant under the. No, no. no. Anyway. Uh, no, 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 no. There's no mutants I mean, oh, in the right. empire. There are no mutants in the empire. There is, there is no war in Bossing bo Say. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I see, um, I see the I, I see the here. So I, I think the only way we can get rid of him is Anthony, with, with how awkward he is. Time this. Wait, you you already know how awkward Anthony can be. What happened in the bar when I wasn't there? Uh, never mind. Never just, mind. Yeah. You can tell me later. Yeah, and and yeah. that's a later <laughs> issue. <laughs> like I'll slap <laughs> Anthony on the back, like tap tap tap, and like try to drag him towards uh. Fried, so Fried can clue Antony in, and I'll try to take over talking to the boat people, even though I'm not great at talking to people either. <laughs> yeah, what's uh, what's up, Kirsch? Uh, uh, Antony, uh, Joseph, and Fried need you. Uh, maybe you should go talk to them. And like, I'll try to shove you away from the edge of the boat and take over your spot where you were talking to them. <laughs> uh, I mean. I mean, they would wait a bit. We got we have visitors. They no, seem... no, they no. right now it's very important. Oh, all right, jeez, all right. And he kind of walks away. You can make friends later. Okay, what was what was the what was the other ship captain's name? I forgot. Wait, the the Joseph? The, the friendly peasant no, or the Joseph? Friend, the friendly oh, peasant, gots, not called us. Gots, gots, <laughs> gots. Yes. Uh, 
I'll I'll be back. Gots the other fucks need me. Uh, and he he walks away. What's uh What's up? What's up, Fried? Uh, so I'll I'll repeat the entire thing I said first to Anthony. Uh, <laughs> uh, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are kind yep. of bad. Yeah. Uh, the only way to really, I feel like rid of them is your awkwardness. Well, I mean, we we, if, we saw how you were in that barn. You're for sure. Oh. You're for sure awkward enough to get rid of them. <sighs> are you <laughs> saying that the way out of this is for me to piss people off because I'm good at that? I, I'm thinking it, it's uh, to, um, it's not exactly piss people off, but like, uh, you know, may, give them the impression that uh, you guys aren't really smart, per se. Like, we aren't smart at all. You hear a voice, you hear the voice of God's cloud. He says, well, hopefully we'll, maybe we'll see each other at the shopping fest. But I think we'll be on our way. Best of luck to you all. Praise be to Sigma. Hey, you too, Gots. Thanks for being friendly and such. Rare out here. Kind of like looks over at Fried. <laughs> Look, that, that guy is just a nice boatman. I don't know why you're so concerned. I know... The scuffle in the bar last night was a little, a little not great. That's not enough was... to send anybody after us. Is it? I, uh, I I heard what they were saying, and it did not sound like like friendly talk at all. It sounded like they're trying to get information on us a little bit to maybe yeah. rat us out or something. We do not want that, especially since you're currently a wanted man. We've got I. When did I ever say I was a wanted man to you, Fried? To be fair, you were running. I heard that you were running from the guards and our dark. And, uh, uh, I mean, hold on. And my face was never seen by anybody who's still breathing. Well, I mean, a few of the, a few of the citizens tend to abide by the guards, cause, you know. This is a rough place in that place in Altdorf. Look, there's a million bald, rather rotund men out there. Could have been anybody. I've dealt with this kind of stuff before. You got nothing to worry about. They got nothing on me. They don't know who I am. They don't know my face. Nobody knows what I look like out here. It's the whole reason I came out here in the first place, all right? Nobody's looking for us. You don't have to worry about it. Nobody's looking for us. I mean, I mean what she was saying makes sense. I mean, everyone else who's passed us is either giving us the news about the edict or, you know, just minding their own finger. business. Yeah, it's just kind of how it is on the river. And then you strike up a conversation with a boatload of people who apparently set out from the city the same day as us, and we only just now met them. They didn't say they set out the you same see, day, did they? Uh, they did. They said oh, they did. just the other oh. day. Yeah. Same direction it as us, but we didn't see them until today. Plus, she, you, she makes sense. You, uh, plus, plus, you saw two of them. One of them was just, like, you couldn't see their face at all. They had a mask on them, and then the other one was losing, had only one eye. And that's kind of suspicious. We're, it. we're traveling with an elf and somebody who has to wear burlap over their eyes. It's because not they're... burlap. Okay. It... My apologies. You're very much so enormous upgrade from burlap to cheesecloth. How could I possibly mistake it? it well, if Look. you think about it, if you if you have something covering your eyes, it's usually a sign of blindness. So you could think that uh, Kiris is blind or something. All right. I okay. Okay. Tell you what. 
Hey, Joseph. I Letty. Do you ever occasionally get boats that pass you that are just openly friendly to you? Oh, I all the time. Can be pretty. It's nice to be pretty boring, you know, sailing along these these canals and good conversation. Nice to have. Do you ever run into people on this canal that look a little strange? Well, I suppose. I mean, I suppose we have someone a little strange looking in the deck. Final question. How many boats leave the capital of this country? On like a normal day, just a ballpark from your time sailing. More than I can count. He like turns back. All I'm saying is with those three pieces. Thank you, by the way, Joseph. You're doing a great job up there. Keep uh, making sure we don't crash and all that. Um, all I'm saying is that they were simply a friendly group of people with one weird guy on the boat going to a giant event, coming from the biggest city in this entire country, going to one of the biggest events, I think, in this country. I'm sure it's fine. I don't think, I don't think we need to be worried. I understand your concern. I understand it. But I've been doing... Well, if we uh, see them again, I'd say just be on the lookout in case they are doing it. Just... All right. I'll give you that. If we, by chance, run into them again, that would be a little strange, even though we're going to the same event. But it's a big event, so if we randomly run into them, that would be... That would be weird. That would that, be weird. I'll yeah. give you that. Now... Okay, I can see your piece as well. Okay. Thank, thank you. But... It... <sighs> Proud of head plenty of experience uh, having people following me. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say on that, because that's frankly something for another time, I would say. Um, and I could kind of get a good read when somebody's on my tail, I think. But I, I appreciate the intuition. It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, I think had I been less bored and had something to do on this boat, I probably wouldn't have chatted them up. But honestly, everybody's kind of been an asshole that I ran into, and it's just been a nice change of pace to talk to that guy. So, yeah. Well, then. The rest of the day goes smoothly. A few more ships yell at uh, Joseph for his <laughs> big, big barge. <laughs> impressive she barge Ooh. that he's yes. impressively yeah. steering along. Yeah. Yes, the barge, as we can see, he didn't have a test because Anthony had to mention that. Yeah. <laughs> and he passed it with flying colors. It's crushing. No crashing. You come to like the next coach house on the way. And you see it tied up outside. That little boat that you just... I'm sure you remember that you had that little talk about with a really pleasant little family going to show off and fest. Tied up Super outside. Mm -hmm. No one's in the boat, but it's there. Outside the, outside the coaching house. Have we also stopped, or is Joseph still going? Well, I mean, Joseph is going to stop here because it's getting late. <laughs> the sun is All setting, right. and he's he's ready to tie up for the night and probably, if he can, get another drink before hitting the hay. Mm hmm. Okay. The boat's here. Makes sense because we're all traveling. Doesn't really make sense because that small boat's probably four times the speed of this big old barge meandering down the river. Honestly, starting to, starting to see, starting to see it, starting to see it, pride. All right. I, uh, 
may have may have may have judged you a little bit, but hey, still could be a coincidence. Maybe. Hey, uh, the question for you, Joseph. I was it this time, laddie? How uh, how far along would the next coach house be? Uh let's put it this way: we'll, we'll be sailing in the dark. Um, I don't know, maybe a few hours at least. Okay. So, theoretically, even if they got here way before us because their boat's faster, they could have stopped because it would have been dark before they got to the next one. Makes sense to me. Cool. Okay. Well, I don't see what you're worried about. They seem perfectly nice and friendly. See, Joseph likes them. And Joseph likes a lot of people. No offense, Joseph. Uh, it's true, I do. Yeah. It's true. I have many <laughs> friends. I'm a very friendly man. <laughs> um, I know Anthony's probably going in. Fried, are you in or are you on the boat? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go in. Give me, well. give me just a minute. Uh, you guys can go in. I gotta go feed my cats. I'll be right back. Mm. Okay, then curse and fried. You're heading. You're heading inside. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, you step inside and you do see two of them there. You see two of the people from the boat. Let me grab. Oh my god! Why are they so big? Why are they so big? This is a big they're old token. Giants. <laughs> they are giants. I I do not know why they're so much okay, bigger than you guys. And I've he had said son and daughter, right? Yes, he said they they were okay. his, his, well his son and his son's wife. So okay, daughter and daughter in law. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fixing my notes. I am fixing my tokens. So they're not <laughs> massive. I haven't been writing any notes, so <laughs> don't worry. Like I think in most games, there's like one person who actually takes notes. And oh, I got like the 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 weirdest notes that it'd be so hard to share with anybody else because it's like my own like chicken scratch and shorthand. <laughs> I bet you, if you sent me a, like a screenshot or something of your notes. I would be able to read it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So, Zilla yeah, back. you find these two are already there at a table with drinks and food. But um, the old man and the cloaked figure, nowhere to be seen. And they they do notice they do notice you when you when you walk to the bar, but they don't really. These two they don't really make any kind of like attempt to like say hello to you. They just sort of like look your way and then go back to whatever conversation they were having. Okay. Other than that, well, bar, I'm a, the, the bar is, is very uh, uh is like there actual, a, like bar you can sit at. Yes, so again, this is another coaching house. Like so many others, it has a common room with a bar where they serve drinks and food and lots of tables. Okay. I'm gonna head to the bar. Quickly. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit there uh, as bartender for a uh, for a uh, just straight rum. Just straight rum, okay? <laughs> yeah. Cause I I'm gonna need it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, straight how much... st straight rum, you say? Celebrating something today? Not really, no. I was just trying to quickly get that buzz going, you know? Well, a couple of these and you will be... You will certainly have a buzz. We have a beautiful... We have a beautiful room. Right, from, straight from Tilia. I believe this one comes from Sartos itself. And you, you know... <laughs> Give me your cheapest rum. Cheapest straight rum. Yeah, she looks disappointed. He was about to tell Aww. you all, ab all about this 
wonderful <laughs> rum he has, and you just interrupted him and told him to give me the cheap shit. So, yeah. his yeah, his expression just like drops immediately, and he kind of like quietly goes and gets you this. Crushes Listen, I, I'm not, I'm not for the fancy stuff. I'm not for the fancy stuff. I, I feel like that's better than given to like people who will actually enjoy it. Well, um, yeah, he will give. Oh, one second. I, I think I just sneeze. Maybe. I did. The rare GM sneeze. Oh. Huzzah. <laughs> Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he grabs he That's basically grabs the bottle and fills up a mug of it and he he just kind of like slams kind of like not slams but just sort of like plants it down in front of you and uh, five maybe five rum pieces, five uh, brass pennies. Okay, but yeah, and, and, and uh, I'll I'll also give like a uh, like a a very small uh, tip to the uh, bartender, J- just just to keep that mood up. I'd say like three brass pennies. Damn. 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 You are wow. Okay. She generous. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's like a listen, big. Listen, tr- you gotta keep. You gotta keep the bartender's uh, uh, they can mood up, or else it's gonna be a bad night for everyone in the bar. You're so, so right. fair. He gives a little, uh, a little friendly little bow, and like, oh. Oh, thank you for your generosity, kind ma'am. No worries, he's gonna keep that mood up here. And just like before, the talk of the town is, you know, there's no mutants in the Empire. <laughs> Those road warriors have been really going ab- about spreading the good word, spreading the gospel of Carl, Franz, and Sigma. Thanks, Carl. Can Thanks, I uh, Carl. <laughs> down this bottle of rum? Damn. You can. Give me a consumer alcohol check since this is like actual proper rum. This isn't just a watered down uh, just, shell. Uh, challenging or uh, difficult? Um, give me just for now an average. An average? Okay. Will someone other than Anthony get drunk? For Let's once. go. Aww. So if it says yes, maybe minus one. Oh, <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do now is so you you're feeling you're feeling a little tipsy at this point, and I'm gonna add an effect. He to got you. that liquid courage. Real. So yes. I've now added the consume alcohol effect. So you actually get a penalty to various tests now. Because you downed an entire goddamn bottle of rum in one go. <laughs> so much for not drinking for... Oh, wait, no, that's right. I stayed on the boat. Lol. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, are, are you staying on the boat with... Uh, you're not coming off the boat at all? Did Joseph, did Joseph stay behind this time and let Anthony go in? Because, like, I think we're doing shifts of someone stays on the boat. Right. That's that's the question. Is Is Joseph still on the boat? Well, Anthony, do you want to be the one to go? Or do you want to have the first shift? Uh, screw it. I'll take the first shift. I'll stay on the boat. Fine. Okay. Jo- Joseph is with everyone else in the bar. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's like, he's not paying attention to anyone. He's happy drinking and chatting with the people nearby. He doesn't care about, like, you guys are suspicious. He's not. No, yeah, he's comfortable. He He's, this is part of his job. It's understandable. Anthony, I would like you to do something for me, though. I'd like you to give me a perception test, but I want it to be... I think it's going to be like a difficult one. Um, Ooh. I'm already really, really bad at that. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got um, a 17 percent Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be difficult because it is... Good, good roll, bad number to beat. Yep. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, you see it's uh, it's dark out. There's there's you see the, the, the inn right there. Big and there's trees. There's lots of trees. It's the Reichland, said so lots of trees and yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kinda nice to be out of the city. This is relaxing. You, just, you can see the the stars in the sky and mm. the the soft lull, lull like the alone sound of the water. 
He's just gonna be like kind of poking around the like, I guess like steering area because now after his his excellent attempts to drive a cart, he's like oh, <laughs> he's a little curious. I'm just I'm just poking around. I'm not touching anything. I'm just looking. He's doing that classic, you know, you don't touch it, but your hands are like right there. Yeah, <laughs> like miming touching it. Yeah, he's distracted. Oh, mm -hmm. is, is he still on the boat? Yeah, is he still like it? it like maybe, maybe, maybe like you get to have a chat with her, but I'm not gonna like RP that because I'm not Vix. Okay. Yeah. But maybe like she's well enough to like have a little bit of a wander around and. But that's sure. everyone else. Everyone else. Well, Anthony's out there enjoying the refreshing night air. You're all in this smoky, drink like drunken pub, in whatever. Um, I would have stayed, like, at a table or even just a stool on its own nearest to the door so that I can keep an eye on Fried, because I don't know what she... I don't know her habits, so I'm just keeping watch of her. I'm keeping watch of the married couple that we saw from that boat before. And then I'm not really worried about Joseph, because I know he can handle himself. And again, he wasn't suspicious, so he's probably fine. He's he's chilling. No, Joseph is a very suspicious man. <laughs> uh, I would like to gossip a little. Then give me just an average gossip ball. There's plenty of people here talking. Ooh. You scored a plus one. Yep, so... Let's think of some good rumors that you've been hearing. Oh, you do hear. Oh, you hear some people talking about uh, the Altdorf Zoo. Someone says they were just at the Altdorf Zoo. But it's, well, they were going to go, but it was shut down. Something about uh, Deathclaw, the Emperor's Griffin. Let's talk, let's talk that maybe it's sick or. There's even some talk that that it went mad and, and killed one of its keepers. Interesting. I don't know. I haven't been to the zoo before, but uh... there's also people saying that the That'd emperor, the emperor hasn't show. the emperor hasn't hasn't been to like see the Deathclaw in such a long time. By the way, like Deathclaw is like a f pretty famous as. The Emperor's like Griffin Mount. Uh. I mean, ha having a Griffin, that's pretty fucking. As a mount, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's kind of badass. So that's that's, that's brought a few people talking about uh, at what a nearby table. Okay. There's also there there's also there about uh, Schaffenfest. Apparently, they talk about the uh, the little zoo there, saying, "You know what? You know what? If Altdorf Zoo is closed, then maybe Schaffenfest will be better." There's okay. There's maybe. even talk. There's even talk of apparently some kind of like a lizard man in the zoo. Or they say some kind of like a lizard that stands on two legs. And talks in some strange language. Sounds like a new species or something. <laughs> there are no mutants in the Empire. Also, look, exciting new lizard at Schaffenfest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aw, the little lizard thinks it's people. <laughs> <laughs> um... The married couple that was on the boat with Gots and Masked Man, um, do they, like, does Gots and the Masked Guy ever come back and join them? Or do they stay by themselves at their table? They, for like, at least, like, at least for the past, like, the next few hours, it's just those two. Hmm. No Gots, no Masked Man. Okay. 
I think like after a while of watching them and like seeing the fried is just fine, I would go tap in with Anthony and be like, hey, you can go in and drink if you want and I'll take over watching the boat. Because that's all I wanted to see really is Fred's okay? Fred's okay. Okay. <laughs> People from the boat? Are they congregating? No, they're not. Okay. Are you, you're trusting Anthony to babysit a drunk person? Oh no, I'm giving him a break. Like, oh, okay. I, I'm I'm in the middle because I didn't do an intuition test and I'm in between Fried who said, hey, these people are sus and Anthony who was like, here's all of these reasons why these people aren't sus. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, I'm extremely in the middle and just being like, well, it's not fair for me to not be drinking and Anthony likes drinking. So I'll go relieve him. Anthony, are you going to drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go drink. Are, yes. you gonna, <laughs> yeah. are you gonna drink a lot, or are you just gonna like drink a little bit? Honestly, Anthony's just gonna drink a little bit. Just a little um, bit, okay. Oh, part 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 of the fun of Anthony getting drunk was was uh, having having burnt there to sass him for being drunk and and then <laughs> stop him from bar brawling and now it's just he's like oh, i just kind of want it's lost its charm i feel like it really has i feel like as he's getting like depressed missing burnt yeah no yeah he's missing a crucial part of his life now it's true he's just slowly yeah. becoming an alcoholic i miss the homie <laughs> It's like he yeah. it's like he lost a finger. It's kind of like how Bert lost a finger. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> part of me is missing. Part of him is literally missing. Um, but no. Uh Anthony will walk in, kind of saddle up next to uh Fried at the bar. How we doing, buddy? Looks like you have changed your mind not about about not drinking. Uh, Melsa, are you there? Sorry, yeah, sorry. Um, I just needed something to drink quickly, get me a little drunk. Uh, just earlier okay. was not a good situation for me. Hey, I, I, I understand, Brent. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, excuse me, bar, barkeep. Yes, what can, I, what can I get for you? Can I just get uh? An ale, and, uh, can I get some water for my friend? Ale? Ugh. Two bronze pieces, water, on the house. Appreciate that. Straight from the bogan. <laughs> straight from the straight canal. Straight from the canal. Yeah, straight from the canal. Because you see, you, you see somebody, like, walking down to the canal to with a, uh, a mug, and they just sort of, like, scoop some of the water <laughs> up and take it back. <laughs> yep. Yep. See, it fucking works for Anthony. The pee thing. Huh. 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 Weird. I'll pay my two little, well, my two little copper. My two little bronze, I mean. Um... Look, buddy, why don't you, uh, why don't you drink this, and, uh, why don't you, why don't you go back to the boat? Uh, I don't, I don't think you should be out here, friend. If you're, uh, in that kind of, uh, headspace, I don't, <sighs> probably shouldn't be hanging out in the I'll tavern. drink it, but I, but I ain't leaving you by yourself. That There's too many stuff I can cause you to... You know, no, hey, not look, be with us anymore. I'm going to be fine. You got nothing to worry about. All I'm going to do is have a drink or two. Listen to what the fine folks in the bar have to say. I'll go. I'll look. I'm not alone. Joseph is still here. And everybody knows that when I get into trouble, it's loud. So I'm sure Joseph will hear it. I'm not going to get I'm not going to get wasted. I'm not trying to be hung over while I'm working on the boat tomorrow. Just go get some rest, buddy. You seem stressed out. You shouldn't be in here. Fine. No, I'm always on night watch. <laughs> and I'll head back to the boat. Before that happens, Kiss, give me a 
perception check test. Um, what was it? Was it difficult? Plus the plus ten. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Well, so close. once yeah. again, once yeah, just like Anthony, yeah, you see, there's, there's definitely an in there. It's still, it's still very much there. Mm-hmm. Still trees. Still on a boat. Everything looks, yeah. And so much boat. Friday, you're heading out there. Why don't you yeah. also give me that perception chest? Give me again. It'll be the plus ten. Mean minus ten. Minus ten, yes. So that's what I mean. My, uh, minus ten, yeah. We could use somebody who's good at perception just. <laughs> well, clearly mm. it's not it's not fried. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oof. I I I um, can't see it for shit. <laughs> fried. You also see. Guess what? There's an in there. <laughs> Oh, so, Anthony, boy. you're going to spend a little bit more time drink, like just a little bit of drinking, yeah. not, not getting drunk, not like uh, our our friend at the boat. Yeah, I'd like to just take my one drink and go over to the table with the uh, the lady missing her eye and her husband. Oh, yeah, no. so <laughs> she actually Making seems friends. like a little uncomfortable with you being there, and the. Uh, for like a moment, the husband has like a scowl, but that's he like then he kind of forces a smile as he says, "Oh, um, oh, hello again. You were, you were from the boat, right?" Yeah, yeah, I was from the boat earlier. Uh fancy running into you, y'all, y'all around here as well. Um, it's just wondering if your uh, your friendly captain was uh, was about the place. Uh, the conversation got cut short. He seemed like a nice guy. I wanted to chat with him a little bit over a drink or two. Oh, yeah. He, um... He's already got a room. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's, old, he's an old man. He he needs to sleep. Right, right, of course. Can I make a, uh, an insight on... on yeah, his, go on ahead. Intuition? Go right ahead. Is it intuition? Um, it is intuition. Yeah, so it's oh. going to be a challenging. So it's going to be like an opposed one. If you want to target the the man, so sure. and then it give me intuition. We'll see what what can you figure out. Actually, uh, now let's let's do this first because I can always do another oh. check. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I wonder what you have planned. Just 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 challenging. Just challenging. Yeah, it's gonna be the pose test. Okay. okay. And the, oh, <laughs> Big. <laughs> you you Let's that man. Go. Oh, he is Let's fuck. Go. He is fucking lying. Like he, uh, yeah, absolutely. He is lying. You know, the old man definitely not in bed. You don't know what. He's hiding something. Also, why do you get big again? What the hell? I don't know. I think I don't it's, know who I got it's due to uh, default token size, I think. Maybe. Maybe. The well, you know what? He's big. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Wait. Big ol' <laughs> Large in charge and bad at lying, I guess. Okay. He's in bed. All right. Anthony, who was just standing before, takes a chair out. Turns it around, sits in it backwards. I was thinking, is he going to do that? Is he going to do yeah. the Riker maneuver? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sits down. Closer to the man than the woman. Because uh, the woman just seems uncomfortable. He was scowling at me. Now. In my life, I don't run into a lot of people that are just randomly friendly. Friendship is something earned. And when it's not earned, it is simply a tool to get something from someone. Now, we can play this little cat and mouse game, and you guys can follow us around on your little boat and keep poking and prodding into our business. Or we could just settle it here. Because personally, 
we both know that you're not telling me the truth about something. And personally, there's this very nice festival and we're getting paid by a very nice man. And the last thing that I want is to have that interrupted sometime randomly in the future. So I'm going to extend the offer here for you to be honest with me so that we can all kind of take care of whatever it is we're trying to take care of. Because, you know, you could keep sneaking around. It'd take us all a couple of days to figure all of this out. Uh, maybe we bump into each other in a public area and it gets nasty and there's guards involved. But that's not really my style. So how about you look me in the eyes, little man, and you tell me why your captain is so friendly with me and why you would lie to me about him being asleep. Uh, and I would like to make a intimidation check. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, it's going to be, again, opposed, so it will just be a challenging. But yeah, you go, you go ahead 90. and give me... Yeah, don't roll 100. Just don't roll big. I'm going to re-roll that. <laughs> do, you <wanna> wait <laughs> second, do, do you want to wait a second until like, we find out what the... Uh, oh, yeah, the, the if, I, not... if I can, if I'm allowed yeah. to do that. Yeah, the, okay. what the not cultist is uh, rolling. <laughs> Never learned the son's name. He's just oh, not... Oh, get cool. shit on, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So, yeah, um, you won by two success levels there, even though you rolled so bad, he rolled worse. And that's why you wait. That is why you wait. Mm, yeah. Fair. The man, he like shrinks in his, in his seat. And the woman herself like looks concerned. Don't worry, miss. I'm not going to hurt your friends here. Or your husband, if he even is your husband. Unless, I don't course, see his, no ring. <laughs> yeah, unless, of course, his intention is to hurt me and my friends, which, oh, I hope, I hope for your sake it's not. Uh, yes, okay, okay, we, we were following you. We, we were following you. But okay. We were, we were paid to keep tabs on you. All right. I can appreciate that. And I kind of like clasp a hand on his shoulder a little bit harder than you should. The hand has knuckles on it. Now, I would certainly hope you have knuckles. That, like the brass, the brass. <laughs> Is it the spiked you, ones you or your, your regular? <laughs> uh, well, I, I will say the spike ones go on the right mm. hand. The normal ones mm. go on the left. So okay. nice little left hand, not the spiked ones. Now. Well, okay, first things first, before we continue, you notice something uh, awfully odd about your non-spiked uh, knuckles. Do you remember how, like, they were brass knuckles? Yep. Oh, they're not brass anymore. They're pewter. Oh, that's bad. Oh, pewter's oh, really what? fragile. Pewter. Oh. The other ones are fine. Like, the spiked ones, they're still perfectly fine brass knuckles. But yeah, the other ones, they've kind of gone... Weird. Does it happen like when I touch him? No, no, no. It, like you notice, like when like you brought your hand up, that like, yeah, they had changed. At some point, you probably don't know when, but uh, maybe you notice like sometime after you left out Alduff, they changed the pewter. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, he kind of like looks at his knuckles, kind of like looks back at the guy. Also, I would like you to give... I'm going to have you give me... Um, I'm going to target you real quick, and I'm going to roll... I want you to roll intuition for me again. I'm not good at that. <laughs> wow. I, I will make you keep rolling until you fucking fail. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no! Well, that's a big old thing. Yeah, yeah, you have. Yeah, that, that, that's uh, fail. That's fine. Oh, it's fine. But yeah, okay. but you know what? That seems believable. Like he he spilled. You you scared him enough. He spilled his guts. He told you 
He's there to keep tabs on you. Somebody paid him. Somebody's paid him to keep an eye on you. Okay. Okay. Now, every question after this that you make me ask is going to make me more upset. It is very obvious what my next question would be. Ma'am, can you guess what my next question would be? <laughs> now that I know that somebody paid you to follow me and my friends. She's giving you the dirtiest look. Like, she just says, you want to know who? Very good. Now. Now, now, now. Why don't you let me know who it is wants tabs kept on me and my friends? Are you look, who are you looking at? Are you looking at the woman to answer, or are you looking at the man to answer? I'm looking at the man to answer. Man, now. we don't we don't know. We we get paid. We got paid to follow you. We didn't we didn't ask any questions. I swear that's all I know. <sighs> Hell, it wasn't even me who set this up. It was Gotts. He knows it's everything. Not, it's not me. I'm simply a bystander in all of this. And Anthony flips his hand around with the... Uh, and just, like, puts his the back of his hand against his forehead as if to, like, fawn uh, away from the table a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I know how it is. It's okay. Again, not gonna hurt you. You don't need to cower. I just needed information from you. Now, thank you for that. It doesn't, it makes sense to me that you wouldn't know because you're just, you're just muscle. You're just an extra group of people. It's, there's always somebody in charge who actually has the information, yada, yada, yada. You though, and he points at the lady missing an eye, your kind of anger towards this situation, unlike your husband's, you know, quivering, a little pathetic reaction to me getting up in his face, tells me that you are probably slightly more important than he is. And that's no slight on you, buddy. So, there's a food chain and everything. You got Somebody's got to be at the bottom, and I'm assuming the person at the bottom isn't the guy with the mask and the cloak, because... That's kind of a good getup for somebody who's important. So, you, Miss Intimidating One-Eyed Friend, do you have any more information for me? Or do I need to escalate this in some way? And I would like to make another intimidation check if I can. You absolutely can. Go ahead and give me another intimid intimidation. We will, again, uh, be opposed, challenging... Let against, the... obviously against her. Yep, against her this time. I'm sorry, this is taking forever. It is Ooh. fine. All right, plus three. Let's go. Mm -hmm. She seems like a hard ass, so I wouldn't. Never mind. <laughs> Get Ayo. smacked. I'm out here. I'm doing the thing. I'm doing what racketeers do. <laughs> I'm putting pressure out. All right. This is like your element, isn't it, Anthony? Absolutely. This the is what we wanted thing, to see from him. <laughs> this is the only thing that he does better than beating the shit out of people and drinking booze. So this is this is he is he is happy, happier than happiness could be, even though there is a group of terrifying people following his friends. He is just loving every second of this. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing with this woman? Like you've got you've got her in the chair as well. You try to intimidate her. How are you doing this? Um so what he's going to do is um it's mostly just with words um and with what i said um but it's very clear that he is he'll he'll kind of like take his bladed knuckles uh and just kind of like adjust them on his hand while he's talking um would there be any uh, I know you said if there was like props that would reasonably be in the room, we could include them. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, 
if if he could actually no, he'll do this because there's they're bladed brass, they're bladed knuckles. This spiked. Um, they probably like oh, um, spiked studs. Uh, um, okay. Uh, he'll pick up uh like a knife off the table. Uh, okay. If if this is a place that serves food, they um, were eating food at the table, so absolutely. Okay. Um, he just takes the knife off of the uh, off the woman's plate, uh, and just starts kind of like sharpening the points on his knuckles as he's just smiling. He's not even looking at the knuckles. He's just looking at her, smiling, giving his speech about how she's more important than him and how he needs a little bit more than what he's got right now and. I don't want to escalate things. There's people in here. They're having a wonderful night. There's no more mutants in this Sigmar blessed land. And it'd just be a shame. Question. Did you say that out loud? Um, <laughs> this is, I, I was, I was trying to like reiterate the stuff that he had already said, but I didn't actually say Sigmar blessed the same first time. Uh, but no, he's not. He's not saying that part out loud. Oh, he's just okay. he's just bringing up the fact that there. I did you say are, that you were disappointing Ludessa. She keeps wanting I'm you to sorry. say. Sorry, I know that. I know that she wants you to say. I'm not bringing admit up. Admit it. Anymore. Admit there's no mutants in the empire. Burnt, burnt rubbed <laughs> off on on Anthony. Uh, he, fine. He says it. And he says, it. he says, there's, it's a glorious day. There's no more mutants in this wonderful land. And you no. hear, a, you hear the cheer of praise Sigma from the bar as you say there's no, no more mutants. Yeah. I love it. I love See, it. look at all these kind people. Now, losing that other eye would probably ruin their poor little nights. So, if you know where your captain is or anything more than the shriveling little man next to me i recommend that you tell me right now god is out okay he's gone out he's he's out there now watching the ship all right thank you I think this was a very productive chat. Now, if your real goal was to just keep eyes on us, I shouldn't have to worry about ruining these kind people's night. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going back to my boat. You're going back to your boat. We will not see each other again. Personally, I don't even care if you keep following us. You can watch from afar for all I care if you can see that far. But just know if I catch you sniffing around my ship or my friends or my business, some people are going to have a worse day. And I don't think any of us want that. Now, you two have a wonderful night. And he stands up from the table, claps the the guy on the back. Uh, Who flinches, of course, at, at that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks at the lady and winks at her. And then walks out of the bar. <laughs> the look on her face, it's just, it's daggers. Yeah. It's daggers from her and just the biggest shit consuming smile. <laughs> <laughs> on 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 his face he is so hat it is just every dagger coming out of those eyes is just another another little piece of happiness for Anthony won't be seeing you soon walks out fair, fair, fair enough and Joseph yeah. will follow not long after um Fried, oh, Fried's already gone back to the boat. So everyone's gone back to the boat. What's the plan now? Are you are you hunkering down for the night? 
Uh, I'm gonna get everybody together because this is <laughs> hold on, hold information. On. Before, before, before we do anything, you said Joseph was at the end, right? I never heard that he went to the end at all. Yeah, he was in there. Yeah, yeah he had been in there, just like being buddy buddy with people. Yeah, he yeah. he wasn't a part of this uh. whole like intimidating them. He's got no idea what's going on there. He was just chatting with people and uh, enjoying himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but no, I, yeah. Uh, cool. Um, hey, uh, friends, we've got, uh, got some business to talk about. Just real quick. Um, uh, and Antony kind of takes off his now pewter knuckles. Like sets them down. Uh, you, you two, uh, fucking hey, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Joseph. Oh my god, uh, poor Joseph. <laughs> yeah, poor Joseph. Joseph. Hashtag Joseph deserves better. That's so yes. true. Um, Fried, I have good news and bad news. Good news is. Intuition from you, buddy, on point. Couldn't have been better. Proud of you. Really high quality stuff. Bad news is, intuition couldn't be better. Those people are following us. Nope. That's that's a that's a interesting thing. Uh, they, they were they did seem a little. I suspicious to me still. Uh, so I kind of just went in for a drink because uh, if things were going to break out, I needed something to keep in ah. top shape. Well, yeah. she, she mentioned they could have been bounty hunters. Did you confirm her suspicion? Nope. They were uh, they were paid to follow us. That's all I got out. Um, so captain's in charge. Mercenaries uh, then? Could I be just, I mean, they're just, they're just muscle. The, the one-eyed lady and the, her husband, uh, and he puts up like air quotes around that, um, are, uh, are just seem like your basic muscle, you know? I was watching their table for the hours I was in there and I never saw the old man or the cloaked guy ever. Right. Old man, cloaked guy. At least the old man. I don't know where the cloak guy is. Old man is at their ship. Uh, he was just on their ship. Uh, which makes sense. He's old. Would it, would it be possible that, uh, that the cloak guy was doing something outside of the inn that can, we can see at all? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's very likely. I think the guy that looks really good at sneaking and is dressed in all black could in fact be sneaking about doing nefarious things um he seems like the type um should we uh see if joseph can see anything uh joseph how many drinks do you had you, you good friend oh, oh oh i'm i'm very good i had a lot of drinks okay you're that he's, he's, he's looking like his cheeks are looking nice and rosy okay I, I think it's Joseph's bedtime. Yeah. Hey, Joseph, I think it's time for you to head hit the hay. Um, so, uh, yeah. Drink some water before you go, though. <laughs> Drink some water. I, you don't. You don't chase a good night of drinking with some water. I, I have everyone. I have some wine. Nice little, you know what, a nice little bit of wine before bed always helps me out. I lean to oh. <laughs> Fried and I'm like, I think I can count how many times I've seen Joseph drink water on one of my hands. Oh, boy. <laughs> he's fine. Don't worry about him. He, like, with that suggestion, he's quite, he, he quite happily goes down into the deck to his, his cabins and sleep half the night. Now, um, now that it's the three conscious of us, <laughs> um, uh, I made it very clear that 
there would be no violence. They had no intention of violence towards us. They were just keeping tabs. I wasn't going to beat them with an inch, within an inch of their life in front of a bunch of people in a tavern. Um, hey, I'm a changed man. What can I say? But this does pose the question of why there is a group of people being paid to follow us. We don't have burnt anymore, so... No. I don't know, maybe the person that hired us for um, for the goods here on the ship is, like, wanting to make sure that uh, nothing ha bad happens to him? The person that hired us to be on the ship is the person cuddling a tankard of wine. Urkel, Urkel, decks. I want you to yeah. do something for me. Say his name. <laughs> Joseph. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, the per I mean the person who hired Joseph. Jo Does Joseph have a boss, Kears? Joseph is his own boss. Yeah, okay. Joseph is self-employed. This is his own barge. This is his own business. He really yeah, turned his own uh, path someone, in life. Someone, uh, someone, hi someone hired, hired uh, to Joseph to bring these, yeah, bring these goods down. Um, that's what, that's what I mean. Well, as far as Kiss is, is aware, the oh sorry, Kiss. Um, usually, it's just Joseph buys up stuff and trades it other places. Okay. Well, either way, I. Th that's it. It's a you, smart idea. You do make a good point that I think it could be someone employed to maybe not follow us. It could be that they're following Joseph or following his ship, his barge. They were, they did tell me that they were specifically paid to keep tabs on us. So, okay. with, with that being said, here's what we need to do, at least for the night. We'll handle all of the thinking bits while we're floating down the river tomorrow. We're sleeping in shifts. We're taking watches, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't trust that now that the jig is up, they won't try to do something. So yeah. even fight four on four, five if you include Joseph, if we can get him to wake up. Uh, well, I like is... sleep the most while it's day, so I guess I'll take first watch. Ch sure. Um... Is uh, is he like fully healed from sleeping for most of the last couple of days? Uh, no. So she was like a really, really fucked up. Like yeah. that was a yes. critical fuck up, right? Yeah. Um, like yeah. we're talking so deep that like I believe her muscle was like actually torn. Yeah, she wrong. had like a torn muscle. There was right. two critical fuck ups. Burnt lost a finger, and Izzy got yeah. like lanced through the yeah. arm. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So her arm is fucked for a while. Not like All she, right. she can recover in time, but yeah. Um, uh, Anthony unslings his blunderbuss. Do you know how to use one of these, Fried? Don't lie to a me. Gun? Uh, no, I know how to use a bow though. All right, he slings it back on his back. I don't really trust anybody who doesn't actually know how to use this thing because I barely know how to use it and uh, it's a little scary. So, um, <laughs> you take first watch. That sounds great. Um, you got to really focus up here, buddy. I know, I know you had a drink in there. Uh, and I don't want to make sure you're good to take this watch. You can take a later watch if you need some time to sober up. Oh, no, I'm fine. The... The rum, the, the, the rum wasn't super heavy on me. All right. Curious you on second or, for, or third. Also, don't mean to just assume that this is a good plan with everybody. Does anybody have a better idea? No, this should work out. There no, should always be yeah. someone guarding Izzy, at least. Yeah. Um. Last quick question. And... I'm willing to be completely honest with the two of you. So if you could do me that favor back, I would really appreciate it. Is there any reason that not involving anything we've all done together, 
you two would be being followed? Uh, no, I, Joseph is the one that got us out of jail. There was really no, like, terrible, like, we didn't break out or anything. No, I, I, I know. Um, I'm, I'm you know why I was really imprisoned. Yeah. yeah. And I've been with you until we, the whole way to Altdorf. So, yeah. Pride, yes, if you have anything to share. We're, we're all adults. There was, there was a before I've, time. I've lived in Altdorf my entire life, just living on the streets. So there was no reason for people yeah. to be following me. Yeah. A squad of four goons with a boat does seem like a lot for a pickpocket. Kierce, any kind of past situations you might have got in that would result in somebody wanting to keep track of you in a malicious way? Uh... Not unless my parents are really pissed at me for running away from home. Uh, and I, like, try to count, and I'm like, I think it was 13 years ago. All no. Right. I've been on the road working odd jobs. Okay. I was really hoping that one of you had have a reason so that we could talk about that for a while, but... Um, I mean, what about Izzy? Well, Izzy is part of a race that is hated by just about everyone, so... Well, do they know that Izzy's on this boat, though? That's the question, because... Well, the, uh, the like, person... I didn't the, even know they were on this boat. The person that hired them knows who we are and knows we're on this boat. So... At yeah. least partially aware. Now... So if they weren't following you, Fried, it's... Logically, either myself, Antony, or Izzy. And now, she in... is unique. True. She is unique. I, I want to interrupt you all for a second. I want each of you to give me a challenging cool test. Cool? Yes. Cool. Challenging cool. Okay. Yep. Oh, Lord. I'm not miserable at those. I want to redo that. Wait, did I pass? You did pass. Oh Eddie. my god, I did it. <laughs> I got an impressive failure as well. I'm cool I don't fuck. want my impressive failure. <laughs> I accidentally... It's just a regular failure. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm also going to use my fortune point to read Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So. Oh, Fred. Oh, Ooh. no, no, oh, no, no. no. So, yeah, so Anthony plus one success. Here, so you got minus two, and mm -hmm. right, you minus five. That yeah, there's an impressive failure. If you want, again, you can take you can take a dark deal plus one corruption, but you can reroll. No, I I, I think one corruption point for now is fine. <laughs> um, Kiss, mm -hmm. you feel like a tingle down your spine. Mm. It is that like. Kind of that very primal fear. For you, just of being watched. For for Fried, it is a moment of like, your body feels like it's just freezing up. It's a moment of terror. If you look, if any of you look off the side of the boat, off to the side, towards the forest, you will see that man from the boat, the one in black, standing there staring at you and i want each of you again to give me once more a minus 10 so i believe it's difficult perception test god damn it <laughs> i'm so bad oh at my this. god <laughs> oh somebody got a zero oh you're doing it <laughs> no unfortunately though, they, 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 did, they did roll over so it's still a marginal oh. failure yeah <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> Shout Damn out to your the perception. Shout I mean, if anybody wants to like try fortune one last time, if they have any fortune to spend, they can. Not on a seventeen percent. Yeah, Ooh. I have a sixteen. <laughs> I've I've tried this before. You know what? I'll keep my track record going. Ah, oh, wonderful. Even worse. <laughs> Even worse. You know what? Screw it. I will also oh. use a fortune point. <laughs> my last how many time. do you get? How how oh, many God. do you get back? Um, you, get you get your full ones, yeah. right? Yep, so 
Like, if you have them, might as well use them. I have two. I go to one. I'd still have one. Mm, this seems important. I We'd all be at one thing. Uh, oh, wait, no. No, 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 no I'm not going to do it. I, I don't <laughs> see shit. Does, nobody, does, 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 does anybody want to take a, like a dark deal? <sighs> Let Screw me go. Let's, let's, get, let's get that corruption out. Let's oh, get that corruption. no. All right. Jeez. Get it, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm begging. She has like the best chance of us too. She I'm still has to beat like a 26 and me and you are in the teens. I'm also yeah. amazed that you all suck so bad at perception. Yeah. Oh yeah. There was oh. only two. We rolled he... one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight times. Nine times. My perception we rolled nine. Total is freaking 36 oh, yeah if izzy was here by the way she can see in the dark it's true like if she was here watching like yeah definitely and she also has amazing perception six oh, rolls I miss and there, her. six rolls and there was one roll under 70 oh well, okay well yeah. you know what we can feel good about the fact that even if you had better perception you still would have failed Mm-hmm. It's yeah. True. It's true. That guy's basically a shadow. We don't know. Yeah, or you, so, you, so for so Anthony and Kiers, you see him standing mm -hmm. there, just sort of like this looming shadow watching, with his face masked, just that smooth masked face with really no features to it. Freed. Tried to. You look over there, and it is like you are looking into this dark, gaping void. It just oh. gets darker and darker and darker. Exactly. For you, it seems like the light is just being sucked into this void. The trees behind also just go dim. This, it even to you, even seems like the stars themselves are going out. The whole world is getting darker and darker. You're, you're not even sure for a moment if it's like the world or if you're just vision, just losing your sight. But for you, it's pure, absolute terror. Like, you cannot stay on. You cannot stay here. You have to, you have to get away. You have to, at the very least, go under the deck. You can't stay up there tonight. So I guess I will be uh, not a first watch. Right now, you're going to be, you're just going to be, you're, Skin pale, clammy, sweating. This is fear like nothing you've ever felt before. This is this is worse than if ever your life was in danger. Like it doesn't even that doesn't even compare to this. I mean, what what redhead isn't pale? That's oh, so you're even pale. Right? You're even pale. You are like a corpse at the moment. Just glowing. <laughs> just, and yeah, like cold sweat on your face. Like, yeah, or just like glowing. You cannot be. You cannot look at that, that figure. You cannot be anywhere around it. You have to be away from it. Kiss. You still feel a, like a tingle down your spine. Anthony. Mm -hmm. He's fine. He is. He's toughing it out. But there he is, just staring at you from like the distance. Uh, Fried, are you, like, running away? <laughs> I, I guess running down into the, uh, deck, yeah, where, uh, Izzy is. Because, uh, didn't know I, the, Izzy was in there. <laughs> Great. Great. One person very hurt, one person shitting their pants, and we traded warrior priest for the one running away okay okay <laughs> you know all right <sighs> that's not even our fault that it's not i know i'm just burnt's upset. not here i, I know yeah. just you know, ooh, spooky guy in the woods he'd probably be like sick bar says you have to reveal yourself and he'd hold his hammer up and it'd be you know whole thing but <sighs> okay look 
probably just going to be me and you. Uh, for the watches, not great. A lot of time. Uh, do you drink? Do you drink coffee? I. I it, when it's offered, yes. Why? Because the tavern might have coffee. It might be good for one of us to go in there and get a few cups because this is going to be a very long night. That is fair. Um, I think that this is as good a time as any to kind of stop with you getting ready for your long night watch. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, I enjoyed the session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was definitely different. Yeah. Uh, no combat at all. Just a lot of a lot of bonding, a lot of learning about you guys. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very wholesome session. <laughs> and now we I have this mystery of who are these people? Yeah, yep. a new mystery. What's that mystery? <laughs> I, <laughs> wow. It's, it's crazy that he materialized from the shadows right right before I had to ask answer the question that I posed to the rest of the group. Damn. <laughs> good good timing, homie. Sneak it up. I'm just gonna have to tell you guys about myself, and that's all gross. Ooh, personal <laughs> sharing. <laughs> no, no, you can't open up unless Burns here. It's so true. He's my he's my big muscular cleric man and i need him to hold me in his arms while i tell him my woes <laughs> you guys are finally in the bro stage let's go it's true honestly i would love to see that animated not gonna lie it's i i gotta get we gotta get art of the characters so that it, it, it like when we finally reunite and we get uh burnt back i can get an animation of me me and burnt doing the the like super muscular like hand handshake that um from, they do uh, in, like the predator. first yeah from from predator with uh, like, uh, no you wonder what i want to see so um i don't know if you if you watch south park with there's a whole episode on tweak and craig where they get like yaoi fan out of them <laughs> oh my god yes yes i know uh, that episode is great i, I want that of burnt and anthony yeah just god that would be but like antony is just this big chunky kind of kind of grody man <laughs> uh i don't i don't know, <laughs> I don't know are you are you uh, body shaming your own character hello <laughs> i gave him i hey I am allowed to body shame my own character because I gave him my body just like 20 years in the future. Oh my goodness. This is, this is Urkel goals right now. It's true. Yeah. I want to be a big, a big threatening guy who's nice to everybody until he's really not. Um, and the fact that you I have forgotten... kind of want to be like a bear. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Big bear energy, you know, fucking. And I, I mean, I, I like to think that I mean that in both ways. You know, he he both is similar to the large, furry, cute creature in the <laughs> woods that eats salmon out of rivers and is also just a very large, hairy, homosexual man <laughs> looking for some... <laughs> Some, some some priest of Sigmar companionship. Okay, that's yeah. it. I'm from now on. I'm I shipping. I'm shipping Anthony and Burns. That's it. They, they yes. ship Let's go. Everything Let's I always go. wanted from episode one. Uh, <laughs> Burntony rises again. <laughs> oh, it's so it's so good. Okay, so we have two ships now. We have Anthony and Burns, and we have Philippe and Izzy. Beautiful. Uh, okay, yeah. well, well, we have well, Philippe. Philippe has uh, Izzy, but maybe not quite the, the other way around. Yeah, they well, would think... definitely go into that dynamic with different things in mind. Yeah, 
I don't know. I think this is this is me looking into a character too far, but like that's what ships are for. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. Philippe Philippe seems like the way he's talking, like my 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 Fey goddess or whatever. I think I think I think we might not be that far off a of base when we call when we call uh uh when we call Philippe uh her pet. Let mm-hmm. me just I'll, I'll put no, yeah. I'll put that no. out there. For real. Yeah. yeah. I think that dude barks is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> <laughs> what a See, do you know what it was? You know what it was? He's not a chauvinist. He's a brat. He's he is. A brat. He's a yeah. brat. Oh my oh god! My no god, wonder we conflict. Is. Oh my god, Philippe, yeah. bitch. He's just, he's just a <laughs> sassy, sassy boy who needs to be put <laughs> in his place. That's all. That's all he is. Oh my. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff all around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this was definitely like, oh, chat care. So, yeah, chat, take yep. care of yourselves. The last Drink one for water. the road. Yeah, oh, God, I've drank so much water. Yeah. I need to pee yeah, soon. <laughs> Understandable. <sighs> yeah, this was interesting. Like, I'm, I'm going to admit, like, this session was basically like, me having to actually adapt things because you guys change things so much. Yeah. So yeah. It, was, it was it was probably almost a good thing that this session was like slow in in quotation marks like for for yeah. bot stuff because it's not like we just were like we're on the boat. Uh, next day we're on the boat. <laughs> like oh yeah, yeah. we could have we yeah, could have just yeah, it's, full it's steam that, down this. It's definitely probably like a uh, from let's see. Let me the uh, full well, map. I didn't here. realize how far freaking Bogenhofen was. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, that's oh. that's probably gonna be. Yeah, that's gonna be like. Oh god. So we started at outdoor. That's probably gonna be like an entire like week and a half, yeah. maybe. It's gonna be a lot of time. just being on a boat. Also, did you guys? Just- uh, hmm? Did y'all did y'all enjoy uh, Anthony's genre of intimidation, which is yeah, that uh, was just great. very smiley, but just so violently threatening. Oh yeah, yeah, it, that was great. I loved it. <laughs> if Anthony's good at anything, it's he's good at threatening people. Like we've learned that much. Yeah. It's gonna be so great when I talk all that talk and then we get into a fight. And I miss all my attacks, and then she stabs one of my <laughs> eyes out for making fun of her eye. Uh, oh yeah, she's coming to that eye. She's gonna want oh, one of those eyes. Yeah. It's a question <laughs> of yeah, one of one of us is getting an eye from the other one. It's oh, it's a question of who. Yeah. I wonder. I, I wonder when Burnt gets back and you're missing an eye. What Burnt's reaction is gonna be? <laughs> Say what like, Sigmar's name did what? you do? Yeah. Yeah. No, see, Anthony, no, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony's gonna have a good excuse, you know? Anthony just felt bad, burnt, lost the fingers, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just wanted to empathize with you. I wanted to know what you were going through, burnt. I just I miss you so much. <laughs> God, that's just oh that 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 is just your shit material like Anthony's in his bunk and he just has like this little uh, pendant with Burns picture in it. He's just like yeah. stroking it at night. It's I it's it's, it's literally just Burns, that one. I miss you so part. much. That, Look, I put yeah, it in general Wolverine. already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's already in general. Yep. It's <laughs> just there. That's immediately what Wolverine went mean. to mind. Yeah. Oh, I'm going that. to paint <laughs> over that. We, we seriously do need to get art of the characters. Just Please just casually, really. just like, yeah. Um, so, okay, so, like, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. If this goes on to, like, future, future seasons, so right now, I've said before, this is, like, the first adventure in what could be a longer campaign. Mm-hmm. If people are down to do more, we can definitely go on to, like, we'll call it, like, a, the second adventure, the second season, Mm-hmm. And if people are down for like a longer term thing, I would definitely look like getting some artwork of the characters and obviously better like background mm-hmm. stuff and overlays. 
Yeah. By the way, I... by the way, if you if people like this, if you enjoy this, if you want to see more, if you want to support the channel, support more TTR PG content, then you can follow the channel and things like that. You know, follow. It all helps. So, like, subscriptions obviously do help to buy these assets. But obviously just, just following and watching is plenty. It that that alone helps out a ton. So I, 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 yeah. I, had to pl- I had to plug that because that was like the perfect oh, time of to just shill and plug. Yeah. Got to gotta get the shills out. Got to do it. <laughs> yeah. You got to shill yourself. Exactly. Yeah, unfortunately, art costs money. Well, yeah. Yeah. Not, not unfortunately, I, but like, unfortunately for me. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, I, I could talk about it off stream too, but like I have, I have some people that could put together some like, affordable placeholder art for sure if we oh. wanted to but um it's definitely gonna yeah. touch me about that yeah i'll send you some refs but yeah well thank you so much for today's session different and a lot of fun and thank you everyone for watching and we will be back in two weeks with the fifth episode and hopefully hopefully izzy's feeling better and izzy will join us and izzy won't be just uh laying in bed all day right <laughs> i guess technically not just in game but like in real life as well right yeah. right <laughs> wishing the vixen, Poor is he and vixen yeah everyone have a wonderful evening and hopefully we will see you again soon and goodbye goodbye everybody bye